Alrighty. G'day, g'day, g'day. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Corb's here with another Red Dead stream as Judge Hughes. I think just about going back to normal. Kinda. Get back into the swing of the law. Oh. Uh. Okay. Um. Do 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 do. Got to remember all the stuff. Is still there, good. Can I just put the coat on back with? Why doesn't that work anymore? You like fully reset your character to put your coat back on. Whatever works, I guess. But howdy, Terra, how you going? Um. All right, I think there's loose, but I'm gonna go. Closet some shit in the bank. Oh. One minute! It's raining in game. How am I going? So I got lots of milk, meat, TJ's pepper. Is the thunder too loud for your terror? Alright, let's go see Lou. In Diablo RP. Hello. How you going, mate? I'm going right, yourself? Eh, not too bad. What's going on? Oh, you know, just clocking on, ready to, you know, do some hard yakka. That's it. Beautiful. How you feeling? Oh, every day a little bit better. That's good to hear. Um, you got a lot on tonight? Uh, nothing planned. You want to come with me, uh, check out a little something something? Sure. You need me to go off duty? Uh, yeah, maybe for like half an hour. Alright. Yeah, uh, I believe... So, you know Miss Letty Lewis. And, uh, yep. yeah, Gallagher. They came across a camp. Now, they said they saw dead bodies. Oh. Yeah. Now, I believe... I think I've seen this camp. But, uh... I want to go have a look at it properly, just to double check. Sure. Um, yeah, let's go take a quick look. I was gonna wait for someone to get here. Hey, nice. I just didn't want to go there by myself. Come here, Razor. Hey, look out. Oh, 
Let's go this way, Mr. Eden. How's your week been, mate? Ah, oh, just pretty ordinary. Yourself? Yeah. Uh, out of the ordinary. Um, you may have heard there was a bit of a date auction going on. I did. Yeah. Now, remember that lady that I was telling you that hated me? Wait, there's a lady that hates you? Yeah, one of the natives or the gypsies or whatever. Right. Yeah, Miss Sage Pena bet on both of uh, bet on both of us and won both of us. Oh. And forced us both to go on a date. Oh no. Yeah, that date went for about five minutes, and then uh, five words were spoken, and that date was concluded. So, what's um, this lady's name that doesn't like you? Harriet. Harriet. Okay. I. Yeah. I don't know if I've met her. Oh, you will. She hates all kinds of uh, law enforcement. Oh. She'll tell you to. Uh, Kindly move away uh, with a certain name and not in those words. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I spent the rest of the uh, remaining time at uh, Miss Penja's gun shop and now I'm apprentice gunsmith. Oh! Yeah, off duty. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's been fun. Because uh, this week's turned out quite uh, unexpected. Like, it's gone very unexpected. That is a bit of a rocky road. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Letty and uh, Gallagher apparently saw something up here. Howdy. Oh. It's a local. What the hell? What the hell? I thought this bloke came out like evening, friend. And I'm like, who are you? Oh, he's. Enjoying a midnight ride? Yeah, seems like. Oh, yeah, I thought we'd check it out a little bit. Um, see if we can find anything uh, out of the, you know, out of the ordinary. I believe we've seen this with uh, Marshall Dallas. Marshall who? Uh, Deputy Marshall Dallas. Who the hell is that? So he's a new deputy marshal. Whoa, gee that? Nope. I heard it again. That sounded like a scream. Well, I didn't hear anything. Maybe the uh, woods are playing tricks on me. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Yeah, he's the uh, he's the new uh, deputy marshal. Well, they just spring out. They just spring out of nowhere. It seems like it. Do you uh, do you get recruited into the uh, the army again? Uh, well, I don't ever remember quitting it, so Same. I'm assuming I'm still in the records. Yeah. So I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming I am as well. I mean, I served two wars. Sir. How's your horse coming along? Oh, he's getting there. Yep. Beautiful. My gun out in case there's a bear. <laughs> now 
Now, have you heard about the uh, ongoing investigation that's been going on? Not really. Alright, so there is a uh, lady by the name, a young lady by the name of uh, Brittany Blade. Uh huh. Actually, maybe I should, uh, you know, maybe we'll sit somewhere and talk about this. Well, <sighs> Miss Brittany Blade was missing with, do you remember Yuri Petrov? Yep. With Mr. Yuri Petrov and a lady named Maxine Gray. Uh, Green. Now, we sent some deputies out to go on recon, just to scope out the area. And they found Miss Brittany Blade tortured. Jesus. Yes, and uh, she wasn't able to go with them because apparently uh, her other friend would be killed or something like that. Oh. Now, last Friday, we uh, we sent two teams, led by myself and Shriva. We rescued Miss Blade. Uh, oh shit, I'm on you. Oh, sorry. Alright, uh, yeah, we rescued, we rescued Miss Blade. And, uh... We hung the man that tortured her. Oh! He showed no remorse. Apparently he's admitted to killing hundreds and possibly thousands of people. Thousands? Apparently. Jesus Christ! Yeah, so, uh, we hung him. Now, there's... This is the, uh, worst bit, Mr. Hughes. Now, Maxine Green is presumed deceased, apparently. Oh. Uh, Miss Brittany Blade was tortured, but she's now safe. But guess who was doing some of these experiments? Uh. Who? Yuri Petrov. Oh, no, why? Why? I don't know, mate. I don't know. But we, uh, we caught him the other day. Or, oh, I actually didn't catch him. That's. Uh, he was brought to us the other day by uh, Miss Blade's cousin, and uh, had a very serious talk with Yuri. Very serious. What's that boy doing? I don't know. Like, I've known Yuri for a long time, and I've never known him to do anything like that. But do you do you remember something just clicked to me in my head? Right? Do you remember when we went to Mr. Ian's funeral? Yep. And someone said about you redoing the experiment? They did. Yeah. I reckon some, it might have something to do with that. Who, uh, who, who said that? I can't remember who said it, but someone did say that. Be someone in the Valentine community. Yeah, we might, we might have to have a look into that. Yeah, I remember we were thinking about it, but it, just, it didn't seem, you know, as bad as yeah. this. He said he was just doing some, uh, surgery. It's, uh, it's, it's just clicked to me now, but it's just interesting, isn't it? That's a damn shame. Yuri, you seem like such a good fella. Yeah, well, he's, he, let me just say, Mr. Hughes, he's lucky he wasn't the, uh, man, John Clayton, that I hung. Oh. That poor woman, that poor woman was 18 years old, and he, po he poked out one of her eyes. Oh, that's, that's... Yeah. But then I found out another experiment, uh, one of the other experiments, other experiments that escaped. I found him in uh, Saint Denis. I'm like, he had, a, he had a gun on him, he had a mask, and he was looking for Yuri. An experiment? Like, yeah, apparently his name's Frank N. Stein. Now, I hogtied him. I was working in the gun shop. I said, Mr. St Frank, I go, you need to let me take care of Yuri. We still have one person missing, or presumed dead. Let me do my investigation. I need Yuri alive. We need to sort this out. He's like, okay, Mr. Lou. Then two seconds later, behind my back, he kidnaps Yuri. Cuts a couple of fingers off. Oh. Slices some uh, flesh off his palm. Carves an F in the back of his head. What the And uh, three shotgun shells, shotguns to the chest. I, I take it they're not friends. I definitely think they're not friends. Also, he had an eye taken out from him. Gee. Not from the same guy, but someone else. What's left of him? I don't know, but there's been a... 
There has been a few strings of kidnappings lately, um... I don't like it. Something's off, Mr. Hughes. That's... It's not... These poor people having to endure horrible things like that. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what's going on, but... We'll find the... Uh, we'll get down to the bottom of it. But then there's, uh... Another little matter that I want to talk to you about as well. And when you're ready, ready to go back... I'd like to go back to Guama one day, Mr. Hughes. Sure. I want to, I want to get Squiz, and I'm pretty sure you want to have a few, have a little chat to the commander. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to get back at those boys. Yeah. Well, I'm, I don't want, I don't want to lead a big team. Uh, do you remember when we were at my ranch and I was telling the marshal how I had something that I wanted to do, but I may have to place my badge on the line. Yep. That was it. Right. I think, uh, I think Freeman deserves, uh, a little payback, and, uh, you deserve some closure. Yeah. Yeah. But that's up to you. Like I said, this is, uh, this is off-the-record stuff, and, yeah, it's, it's up to you. Uh, if, it, if, if, it's, if it feels right, and it seems okay at the time, I, yep. yeah, I, I need no to do it. It's no pressure. Like I said, it's no pressure. I just feel like uh, if I'm going <laughs> and I'm going to get my revenge, well, let's, let's let's not say revenge, but if I'm going for my closure, I think you need your closure. Yeah. All right. Worst case, uh, we'll bring Bill Burns with us to avenge his brother. That's if you're. Uh, if you're up for it, mate. Yeah, I've said three times. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I just gotta make sure. I gotta make sure. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue on here. Alright, I think we're close. There it is. The light? Yep. Look at this. Do I not have binoculars? Maybe let's go on foot, Mr. Hughes. <laughs> now, I believe there may be dead bodies along this road. We just need to be careful of these camps that nobody's around. There, actually, look at that. There's another one. That's them? That's another one. <laughs> Must be some sort of warning or. It's not native? Looks native. There's another one over there. One sec, Mr. Hughes. Let me see. Can I have a look through your binoculars see if you can see anything? Just some smoke and some lights. Smoking light. Don't see anyone. Alright, let's continue. Just stay low just in case anyone's around. Oh, is that a right, careful, I thought I may have heard of like a a cougar or something. There's a cougar, run, 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 run. Run back, run down, run down. Get back to the road, get back to the road. Oh, oh! Uh. Uh. I think I got it! Uh, uh, good work. Good work. You're right? Yeah, I'm just knocked out. 
thought I had that. God damn. Uh, just give me a hug. All right. Damn. Let me get my cat. Hug. Yeah, it was a cat. I'll go scratch marks on my back. Uh. All right, we're good. Here it is. Jesus. Well, Thanks if anyone's here, they would have heard that. Yep. Let's stay low. And then if there's anyone there, either that cougar's their pet or it's eating them. Yep. Oh, it's dead now. Oh, the scratches hurt. So I believe this is where... Uh... Gallagher and Liddy saw the body. Sheriff's Department. What the hell is this? It's quite a setup. It is. Seems like it's, uh. I don't know if this is native or not. It, just, it seems a bit dark for natives. It does. It really does. Oh, camp. It's camp. It is a camp. What is this place? Did you see that, Mr. Hughes? What? This, this dead body. There's what? It's a dead body. Wait. In a cage. Straight in out. In a cage? Oh! Over there. I was looking at the lights. It's okay. Yeah, the lights are weird, but yeah. It's like a ritual or ceremony or something. What is this? It still feels like it could just be native, but uh, they're doing this right near a road. This is not native. Look at this. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh that's... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, this is not native. This is something different. That's, that's, that's not okay. Oh, no. Alright. I think this used to be a native place, but this is definitely not... This is definitely not native at all. Yeah. I do believe I saw more lights over there.
I don't know what, what is going on over here, but... This is not right. Hold up a minute. Fox, I thought it was another cougar. Oh, it looked massive from over here. Oh, there's another camp. Oh, right there, too. There's dead bodies right there. More on the road there. Yeah, they're just going to town, and that's that's that is not okay. It's, it is definitely not okay. Didn't get a good look at him. That's the fossil boy. Another dead body there too. This is this is weird, Mr. Hughes. Someone else coming. They're not even trying to hide it. No, they're not. It's just out in the open. We knee where we found Miss Brittany Blade. Oh. Wasn't Anjo supposed to be keeping an eye out up this way? In this part of Amberino? This is Amberino, yeah. What? Did he... Did he miss this? I have no idea, Mr. Hughes. God damn it, Anjo. We need to have a word with Anjo, I think. There's a little thing up there. Let's go have a look. Little hut. You know what gets me is that there's a lot of people on this road here. Yeah, it's just constant, one after the other. Yeah, nobody saw anything. Nobody's stressed about the dead bodies being hung on the uh, stakes of wood. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to freak one here if I seen that. No. Quite. Uh, this is, something's not right. This makes me sick to my stomach. First torture, now this. Ugh. Oh, here comes another one. Yeah, another one. Howdy, sir. Did you see what happened here? Nothing? No? You're just going to ignore us? Okay. I guess mountain people are built different. Yep. I hope you stub your toe on a tree. <laughs> I mean that guy. Uh, a little slippery. I think we need to talk to Mr. Linger about this. Sure. Oh, there's some smoke up ahead. Oh, there it is, right there. 
there's a camp right here too. This must be where Letty and uh, Gallagher had their date. Oh, <laughs> bit of a dangerous spot to be having a date. It's each yeah. their own. I think that's where they uh, saw the uh, dead bodies. Hey Ash, oh there's like nothing but a lockbox inside. People being strung up along this road. Which is a bit dark. It's a bit of a shithole. It is. I can't get to that lockbox though. Do you see it there on the table? Was that a sh did you just hear a shot? Hi, oh, did you? I, I think I heard I think I heard a shot. Which way? Maybe down this way? I don't know for sure. I don't know, mind me, I was hearing things. Ooh, Yuri's been up to a whole bunch of trouble as I'm hearing. Very disappointing. <laughs> Just see the smoke, that's about it. I hear someone running. Another one. That's a local. That's a local running. Bitch. This is gonna stop this bleeding real quick. Ugh. Sorry, one second to use. Ugh. I just realized I was bleeding out a bit more. Oh. That is a big bird. I think there are trail ends here. Hey, that just does not look right there, Mr. Hughes. I think it's definitely keep an eye on Yuri and yeah, try and catch up with Anjor again. Yeah, well, so we got told. So we went to uh, Yuri's laboratory. Have you been there before? I have. I had quite the misadventure with Yuri back in the day. Yeah, well, apparently uh, there's a there's a trap door there, a basement. We went looking before, but we couldn't find anything. But um, I want to have another look. If you are okay with that, sure. See if we maybe missed anything. I know at his at his lab there used to be a fella just just staying there who used to sell explosive ammunition. Oh, really? I think he's uh, moved out. And Yuri just... Yuri was just so casual about it. Something odd about Yuri. He was, uh... You know, he... You know who he was posing as? Oh. Mr. Victor Smirnoff. What? Victor Smirnoff. Yep. What? Why would he go... Why would he do something like that? Well, he came up to me and he's like, Hello, I'm Victor Smirnoff. I'm like, no, you're not. Because we've dealt with Mr. Smirnoff many times in the past. Yeah, that's sack of shit. Yeah, and then uh, he was Mr. Ivan Petrovic. Uh, so Mr. Yuri said that he was uh, hiding from the people that were after him. What? Yeah, but it turns out Mr. Yuri was the one doing the experiments. Oh my god. Yuri! Yeah, so I'm trying to find out what how this is all linked oh how did so slow down why are these locals in such a hurry today yeah, which way does that go well 
All these locals are in such a hurry. Drawing new. Have you seen this as well, Mr. Hughes? What? A meteor crashed here. What? Meteor? Yep. From outer space, they say. What the heck? I've never seen this. What on earth? This is uh, space rock. Gee, it really made a dent. Oh, you should see the uh, poor family down the road. What happened to them? They got hit by the uh, shrapnel of it uh, landing into the earth. Oh, that's very unlucky. I can show you if you like. It's uh, not pleasant. Oh dear. <laughs> it's just down here. Careful, careful, not here, not here, not here. We actually might be able to go down slowly. <laughs> this family down here. Here's what you may see may shock you. You won't believe what happens next. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. This is shrapnel from the uh, meteor. Oh. This poor soul. Yeah, we, we believe this. We thought this was uh, Miss Green at one stage, but uh, it wasn't. Oh, that is... Talk about your bad luck. Yep. Poor thing. Well, at least, at least it wasn't painful. Yeah, it would have gone way quick. Way too quick. Let's go check out Mr. Petrov's lab. Howdy, sir. 
Watch what you're doing in that lab. Uh, Sir, yep. what were you doing in that lab? That's right, walk away. Here it is. This takes Yuri. me back. Oh, really? What happened here with you? Oh, Yuri and I had been out on a photographic expedition with Mr. Sinner. Yep. And then, uh, well, it turned out, well, I think Mr. Sinner got stuck under the bed here. And then we found yep. that Mr. Squiz Taylor had hired a gang and they were hunting me down. But then the mountain man blew them all up with a cannon. Wait, Squiz Taylor? Yeah, this the was... Mountain man. This was a long time ago. Squiz Taylor and the Mountain Man. The Mountain Man attacked Squiz Taylor. Yeah, he uh, he blew up all all of his companions, and then Yuri so, and I were able to get away. So the Mountain Man saved you. Yep. Yeah, he blew him up, knocked oh. Squiz Taylor out, and then he came in and said, "Run, boys! I bought you some time." It was very, which is why when we went to execute him, it was very. You know, he'd done a lot of bad things to me, but then he'd done nice things like that as well. It was confusing. Yeah. I'm just trying to think, because maybe there's a connection. Maybe if we go to Guam, I think he wanted me to. I think he wanted me to stay alive to keep investigating the governor and the beans and all that, but it just... It was just not leading anywhere. We're going around in circles. But you said the governor? Yeah, the... We were, we, were, we were being sent out to try and talk to governors and this and that about prices, but just no one was... We just weren't finding anything. Can I tell you something, Mr. Hughes? Sure. I caught Mr. Yuri the other day. Guess who came and took him out of the cell? The assistant governor. What's the assistant governor's name? Uh, I think it may be Roy. Big, tall, fat man white suit that might be the same there was a government official that he he came to town just before i left in my boat last year what was his name might be the same he was a big tall fat man yes that's the one wear white white suit yeah yeah and he was uh he was going around to tell store owners about the prices of everything going up inflation and taxes and stuff like that He's the one that took the, the the Yuri from the department. Said he was going to bring him back and never did. We had what? Yuri in our cells. Yes. And before Clive Freeman died, Clive Freeman sat down and had a uh, chat to me saying, Lou, we have to... Like, the guy that we hung... You remember the first guy that we hung that we thought was us the flat? Yeah. What was his name? Uh... Roy Clark. Yeah, yeah. What's the assistant? What's the assistant governor general's name? Oh my. Roy, Clark. Oh God. I believe there's another one, but I think they go by Richard and Roy. Richard Star. That's the one. Oh no. Freeman was telling me about this before he died. Oh, it's 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 back. The Beans conspiracy is back. I oh, hope not. No. Something, it's you just, something's going on, Mr. Hughes. Yeah. We got to document everything about this, governors and that. Just Let's keep this between you and I. Because, uh, yeah, I think they think I'm a bit loopy, Mr. Hughes. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Because uh, Freeman and I have, you know, told Smiley that we wanted to talk to the assistant governor general, or the governor general. But, uh, no word. Oh, he, he, I'm sure he's doing everything he can within his no, no, within no. his power. I know. I know. Let's have a look, though. See if you can see any sort of basement, Mr. Hughes. 
Hans, thank you for the raid, mate. Howdy, partner. What were you playing today, my dude? Burnout 3. Oh, that's a great game. I really enjoyed that in high school. That is a fantastic game. Oh, hell yeah. Burnout. Yes. Very fond memories of trying that. Oh, that, that takes me back. Well, I may have, may have found some uh, illegal stuff missing. Oh. I can't remember if I finished it. I cannot confidently say if I finished it or not back in the day. Now, on this table, and many other tables, he's got liquid hot arson. Liquid what? Liquid hot arson what the hell is that i don't know it could be uh maybe one of those flaming bottles mm -hmm. i don't know what the rest of them are but look what else i found over here sorry You know, the cabinet. Look on the uh, second shelf. Little green bottle. I can't quite make it out. TX Terra Brothers Pharmacist Cannabis. Oh, like the... The drug. Plants and guama. That's the one. Oh, dear. Is guama, is guama uh, giving stuff to here? Or to the Terexis Brothers? Well, I swear he works over there. Yuri. Yeah, I, I swear I saw him over there. Hmm. We'll take a look into it. I think. I think he, I think he was always late. Always late. Oh, this bed is hit disgusting. I <laughs> guess the bed that Mr. Sinner was stuck under. It's, uh... I think Mr. Yuri may have soiled it. Ugh. But for this thing here, this is what I want to know. What is this thing? Well, he, he, I think he told me about how the previous owner would do electrical experiments. Because, yeah, all the cables and that connect up to that tower that would uh, be like a conduit for lightning. That's but then right. this looks like something you'd strap someone into. Well, Miss Brittany Blade had burns all over her body. Oh. That's why I'm thinking maybe uh, he ran an electrical current through the person's body. Oh, Yuri. I don't know. I'm trying, trying to figure, all, figure it all out. It just seems very, very weird to me, Mr. Hughes. Oh. Yeah. This is very... Very concerning. Also, hello, Rando. Oh, maybe we should probably head back. <laughs> really big AM batteries. Yeah. Thanks for coming, me, coming with me, Mr. Hughes. Oh, it's always good to have backup for these sorts of things. 
<laughs> Electri electricity king cons. Like, I just didn't want to go to this place alone. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't come back here alone after the time I had. If I didn't have Yuri and Sinner with me, I would have been. Yep. Oh, don't know what Taylor and his golden boys were going to do. Yeah, well, well they wanted my they wanted my my gun, my rifle or gun. something. Yeah. That bastard. I tell I find that fat donut eating bastard. It's going to pay for Freeman. Yeah. He will. To you. Maybe we uh up to Annisburg. Right. I've got a telegram from Harkness as well. Harkness will be as asking for a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yay, more horse bonding. Look at that moose. Holy shit. That's a, that's a big animal. Uh, I have not met the new general yet, Rando. But a massive animal. I should probably send a telegram just to make sure I'm still a recruit in the cavalry. Do you know the name of the new general? Uh, Quinton Shanks, maybe? Right. I received a telegram from him, but I haven't really looked into it. I don't know if you might remember, but remember before you uh, went on holidays, Mr. Hughes. We caught. Oh. Is this a new grave digging site? I've never seen this one before. I was going to say, remember when we caught those two fellas grave digging? Yeah. And we made them run away from the dog, Sheriff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was good fun for the dog. That was great. Hey, Fez. How you going, mate? Howdy, sir. Howdy, sir. You're well? Love to hear it. Be careful. Apparently, there's a uh, cougar around here somewhere. Oh, not another one. Yeah. I might send a telegram to this general. on that side. Oh, 
Cool. Dear Miss Hughes, I believe you were formally enlisted with the US Cavalry Regiment in this county. I'm looking to formally invite you to come down to Fort Lewis tonight. Fort Night, this is the first. first. General, General Shanks. To General Shanks. Thank you for the telegram. I was indeed. I fought in the Battle of Tumbleweed. Oh, um, that's not good. I would be happy to resume duties with the military um, to come get reacquainted. Con regards, George Hughes. Yo, Jacko, how you doing? Howdy, partner. I'm going good. I just, it's, it's been so weird starting the work week on Tuesday. Like, I've really had to remind myself, I'm like, okay, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Got to be ahead of things because then you, I've only, I've only got Thursday and Friday before another weekend. So it's just been weird, but it's, but I'm good. had some funny times as Valdemar last night, so it's, um, you know, when I get some free time, looking I'm forward to doing some patrol. At Saint Denis. We can go on duty now. All right. I'll, uh, get changed once we get to Saint Denis. Uh, what's all this stuff uh, that popped up? Harkness was shot yesterday, so was I. Oh. Uh, in a bank, uh, negotiation. Now, half this may have been in a uh, slight coma and doesn't remember anything for the last couple of days. Oh my god. Yeah. Harkness is starting to look like Swiss cheese, Mr. Hughes. That's... Luck lucky the doctors do real good work. Yeah, exactly. Nah, Valdemar won't look. be joining the, the US Cavalry. Uh, Harkness just telegrammed me again. Go to oh, yeah, because I, I just went to sit down in, on the bench outside the gun we'll store. Check up on Van Horn and the, our way down to Saint Denis. And the locals did not like that at all. They killed me, and then I was like stuck in the bench as I died. Oh, was, that was ridiculous. Yeah, it is so. Van Horn. Van Horn always scares me, Mr. Hughes. I don't blame you. It's a weird, it's a weird neck of the woods. It is. It seems like the roughest of the rough live there. Yeah, I do not like to spend more time than required there. Definitely not. Just do a quick ride along. Right through, I guess.
private property. Someone owns that. I can't believe they haven't they haven't fixed this uh, sheriff's department building yet. <laughs> I have a feeling that maybe every time they repair it, it gets burnt down again. I feel like that too. Yeah, I think they uh, hate the law in you. Frank Cawley's back too. Oh, good old maybe, Frank. Yeah, maybe we should uh, meet up with Frank. Yeah, we haven't uh, haven't seen him since Guama. He has a good eye. You know what? He, uh, Frank, me and Harkness uh, dressed up in all black and hung out in uh, Saint Denis when Black Hand was around. And uh, Frank followed us for an hour. Okay, we never saw him once. Holy shit. He came up behind us and he's like, hey boys, he only knew it was us because we took our masks off in the, the telegram off. What a guy. Yeah. Very sneaky guy. Hmm. Let's see this guy. I remember in the early days of the server, we had a guy come in for a brief time who was meant to be like, it's like Dagwood or something. The, uh... He was meant to be like the chief of the Pinkertons, like really early on. And he invited me to become a Pinkerton after a patrol with him. But considering I stream just about every session as Hughes, I was like, nah. I wouldn't get anything done because people would watch the stream and see what I'm doing as a Pinkerton. Wouldn't work. You finding all right settling back into uh, normal life, Mr. Hughes? I am. I I so am. Sweet. I'm glad. Gator. <laughs> also, Squiz sent me a telegram. Did he? Not too long ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. he said, uh, your citizenship to, uh, Guama has been revoked. Oh. Sucks for him. I've got his ticket left. I've got a one-way ticket to Guama. Just gonna make a quick pit stop, Mr. Hughes. 
All right. You're right, boy. Let's um, let's go past the department, see if Harkness is there, and then uh, it's still a bit of a patrol. All right. Telegram real quick. Evening. Out it. Out it. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. How you doing, mate? Yeah. Eh. Why are you bald? Oh. Uh, apparently got my head shaved. Oh dear. By who? Hey, well, a doctor. She got shot in the head. Yeah, right. Interesting. <laughs> so it is. Hang on a sec, Harkness. <laughs> there you go, mate. Let me shine your head for you, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's go, boys. Let's go. Thank you. You doing alright, Harkness? Yeah. Oh, I think the last thing I remember was something. Um, Mr. Don't try to sell me. I'm on duty, right? Um, date you thing. And, you and I were doing a bank, and uh, we were both shot. Where did my horse go? That sucks. Are you okay? Yeah, I was shot in the in the arm. I'm all right, mate. Just gonna get your horse, Harkness. Let's go. Stupid thing. Are there any more? Uh, are there any recruits or any ride-alongs than uh, Valentine? Not that I know of. I didn't see anyone. We'll patrol here, we'll go to Rhodes, and then we'll go back to Valentine, see if there's anyone okay. around. That's a good idea. Howdy, sir. See if Mr. Dome's around. Got it, Mr. Dome. Mr. Dome.
He must not be around. I've seen him. No, Mr. Dome. That's not good. Well, where he is? I don't know. That's. Oh, I guess he's away. Let's go see Miss Pena then. G'day, Dave. How you doing? Going good. Just um. Howdy, mate. Oh, Mr. Lovegood. Jump on, mate. Oh, hang on, let me change my, into my uniform. Just getting uh, back in the swing of doing lawman stuff on so the server, but doing is, good. Uh, How are you doing? Lovegood, he's a uh, ride along. Lovegood. Yeah. Right. What's his first name? Leon. Leon Lovegood. Oh, that's a strong name. Yeah, it is. Is that? I thought, never mind. That was someone else. Howdy. I thought that was Harriet for a second. I was going to be prepared Your girlfriend? for a girlfriend. No, not my girlfriend. I'd say, uh, I'd say, what would, what would you say, Harkness? Best friend? Yeah, I'd say best friend. Mr. So Lovegood, bald? this is Mr. Harkness, this is Mr. Hughes. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, Harkness and I were shot responding to a bank yesterday. Oh. Yeah, Harkness uh, shaved his head. The well, doctor shaved his head because uh, he got shot in the head. Oh, sorry. You know, it would be a touchy subject. It's slow down. Uh, in town. Oh, actually, let me grab my uh, Henry out the back real quick. It was an interesting time. Well, the VODs are always there. If you're ever... Get the urge. That's ain't the new. That's good. Get a day of work under your belt, then earn that chill out. Love good, is it? Yep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, you was it? Yep. What are you, uh, German or something about that uh, last name? A, a what? German in that last name? Uh, no, I'm from uh, England and that. Oh, yeah, right. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, Mr. What? How's it going? <laughs> oh, my bad, boys. I didn't realize. Miss Pena. There we go. Evening, gentlemen. Oh, she's Evening. not around. Howdy, Mr. Watt. Hey, right. young boys. He's not yeah, here. Yeah. Are you okay? Harkness uh, was in a bit of a coma. Is he, okay? he doesn't look okay. No, he was shot again in the head. When was the last time you had R&R, &R, boy? Yeah. Is he lying to me? He doesn't remember anything but a few days ago. Maybe you should, doing, should he be even riding a horse? Should, should I, I take him? Should I be taking him on R and R at some point? I think maybe take him fishing. Oh yeah, I can do that. It's time for him. He uh, he's had a very bad concussion. He's uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, he's bald as you can see. He's got a he's got a few stitches in his head. Um, it's up to you, Harkness, if you want to go on. A bit of a fishing trip with him, Mr. Watts. We can do it tomorrow if you want. Is that tomorrow? Tomorrow. There you go. Down to gravel. Yeah. Alright. Hey, the training tomorrow, so let's get that. Uh, that would be on Friday. I, don't, I think there's some other training with Shriver. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all good. Well, after that, you can uh, organize with Mr. Watts. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's Keep go it. to. Take a bit of care of yourself, huh? What the fuck? No, no. Yeah, look, we try, man. mate. We just get keep getting shot. Yeah, we're right. Trying yeah. to protect the county. You know how it is, mate. That's fine, boys. You all have a good night, alright? You too, mate. Next stop, Red Dust Town. Red Dust Town. Uh, Mr. Lovegood, 
Yeah. Just remember what I said about uh, getting to know people in the town. Yeah. Just uh, get to meet people. Tell them a bit about yourself. Find out, find out a bit about them. Very important. Yeah. You do serve the people, after all. That's it. That was something Harkness, Hughes, and I were taught as recruits. Yes, we were. Serve and protect. That's right. in your trumpet player around Harkness. That's good, I think I can handle that tonight. Today. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, Sir, mm. go, please go. Uh, I've still got George's um, armoured wagon. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. When we get to roads, I'll hand it over. Oh, giddy up, that, that big beast of a machine. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. U.S. Marshals, I'm Actually, okay, you may you may need it, uh, Hughes. I'm going to be organising something with you a little bit later, maybe next week. All right. Oh, exciting. Love riding around the wagon. <laughs> uh, I don't kind of want to announce it, just in case, you know, there's criminal scum lurking around. Yeah, fair enough. You don't know what's hiding in these exactly. alleyways. Howdy, sir. Okay. Careful. Goddamn locals. Yeah. The stable's here if you want to use that. Ah, this stable's is owned by one of my best friends, Harriet. <laughs> that, uh... Hi, Harriet. woman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your trade ticket today, George? Oh, it's a nice and 88. That's nice to know. Thank you. gentlemen I'm good how are you good he morning. did get bigger Dave how I don't know oh yeah there we go there we go you got your cart back oh I better make sure I'm ready to repair those wheels definitely once we get to roads I'll pull you aside we'll have a little chat about what's gonna happen all right Oh, Jesus. Oh. Arcus, are you right? Arcus, yeah. how many fingers am I holding up? Yeah, yeah. Arcus, I reckon I should ride. You, you, you just jump on back. You're going to be right for duty, mate. Alright. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. This Go to that. Let's go this way, this way. I was about to say, uh. Parish wolves are very strong here. We haven't got kicked by mongols. Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Hopefully, mm. geez. This one's kind of new. Yeah. 
I remember something about last night. Uh, green wrapped guns. It was silver or something, or black. Yeah, I do believe I know who those guns are. I crafted those. Yeah, I craft believe. Guns, yeah. yeah, mate, I'm a gunsmith, a French gunsmith. I believe I crafted those same guns right after Mr. Lovegood's guns. And apparently my horse likes to ride into trees. Yep. Yeah, I remember that, uh, lady. That? She's yeah. wearing green. I think my name might have been Taylor. Yep. Well, at least that's why I wear people call her. Interesting. Right? That's the funny thing yeah, about being an apprentice gunsmith. I, uh, I can recognize guns. What's good to know? That'll help us. Telegram from General Shanks. The house over there. Apparently, yeah. Betty owns now. Yeah. yeah, right. Is yeah, the right. boxing ring still there? Yeah, the boxing ring's back. Oh, very nice. Did it disappear, did it? Yeah, I've been, uh, I want to go back and actually have a fight again. I think Hawkins right now needs a fight, tell you that much. Oh, I'll have to see Dolores around soon. Have a chat to her. Dolores, I think she last time I saw she's in Saint Denis. Ah, okay. Alright, I'll get you boys to uh just ride up a little bit. I just want to have a quick private chat with That's Mr. Good. Hughes. Oh good. Alright, Mr. Hughes, now I believe uh before you went on holidays and the whole Guama thing, uh you were doing stagecoach uh evidence lockers. Oh yeah, clearing out all the junk. Yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah. Now, I've spoken to Marshal Smiley and uh, Sheriff Bowman. I think that uh, it'd be good to continue to get you to do those. Oh, it keeps me busy when it's quiet, and it's nice yeah. to know that I'm, you know, cleaning out the locker and just keeping a keeping that good. It felt felt good. Yeah. Well, all the lockers now are shared. Okay, so you don't have to keep five different locker <laughs> tracks or notes. Um, but there's a new way that we do things now. Right. So if you go to... So we, what we do is we... Let's say we start off at Valentine, right? We'll go down to Tumbleweed. Now, behind the uh, department, there's a uh, recycling... Like a recycling uh, shed. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, so that so what happens with that is we get bonds for them. So drugs, pelts, and weaponry. Uh huh. Now we take those bonds back to uh, Blackwater Courthouse, and then we get money for our ledger. Right. So the goods go from the lockers to Tumbleweed, yep. where they get scrapped down. We get bonds that go to Blackwater to get money. That's correct. Right. Yeah, we we def so our ledger is not the best right now. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right. So that's what we're working on trying to fix that up. Oh well, yeah, when we get getting that swing out, I can look at you know weekly or fortnightly and keep those Sounds keep good. that money coming in. Yep, do it at your discretion whenever you want. Um, I'll leave that entirely you up to you. Right. right. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've spoken to, spoken to Smiley and Bowman, and we both agree, or all, all three of us agree, that you should be the one doing it. Oh, yeah, get, that'd be nice to get back in the rhythm. We had yep. some success and some mishaps, but that comes That's with right. the job. I know what you're talking about, so I do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think I know what they're talking about. Right. Yeah, over it. Yep. Alright, let's go to Valentine see if there's anyone else in the department. Yeah, not getting a chance to read the newspaper. Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't go. Mm, I'm gonna leave that for the moment. 
Yeah, that's fair. We've got other ah. shit we have to deal with. Yeah. yeah. We also need to uh, work on that fear of yours, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Hugh. The bolts. Yeah. Right. Remember what I was telling you before? Yeah. Right, if we're gonna go, hang on a sec. Right up a bit, boys. Yeah, that's all good. If we're gonna go back, we're gonna have to go back by boat. True. Oh, we'll have to ease back in. That's right. Whenever you're ready, you let me know. All right. Up here, up here, boys, to the right, to the right. Oh, well, scrap that plant. I was gonna see how Mr. Lovegood shot at this tree here, but uh, <laughs> looks like we're going to Armadillo. Not Mr. Bean, ran it, but yeah, Hughes will probably go back to Guama eventually. Get even. Uh, go a bit to your right, Mr. Hughes. What are you doing, horse? Please go straight. Sorry. My horse is uh, not good at following direction. Yo, toaster. Well, that's been pretty chill. We went. I went with Lou just to check some weird things up north. And then, um, we're just sort of on patrol and just going to be responding to stuff. So it's been alright. How you doing? Been vibing, nice. Nice and relaxing. That is up. on in the department. Hello. Yoo-hoo. Alright. We gotta go to, uh, Tom, not Tom Boyd, Armadillo, Mr. Hughes. We got a call out there. Jump on. No just tunnel. thought I'd see if anyone's around. I just gotta go into my head for a minute. Yeah, take your time, man.
Ah, this. Armandillo, we've got a drop call. We do? Uh, yep. Huh. Didn't even see it, that's what. Oh, that happened. Yeah, sorry. it was uh, just before we, just as we exited roads. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure to see if there was no one else hanging out the front. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, my telegram, yeah! Shit. Harkness, you, oh, oh, Harkness, you want to check in the. Uh, Sign in sheet, see if anyone has signed in to duty. I uh, can just stop the horse stop the horse for a sec. No, no, you don't need to, I don't think. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, I got it. I think I had, I have a feeling I received a telegram back from General Shanks. General Shanks, we can stop off. Oh, it's only us three. Okay. Can I back off? Yep. No tunnel? Oh, settle, settle. Ah, uh, it's that roads so we can head there now. Actually, no, we can't. Um, we have a ride along. It's not uh, deputized yet. What's going on at roads? No, no, so t we can tunnel. Actually. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Fucking... Jesus. Yeah, watch this. There's a horse there, boys. Oh, um, there it is. Yeah. No, we're going to have to ride down. We're going to have to ride down. All good. That was. There's no way they're still gonna be there. Yeah. That That's a big rip. Weird. They were running at the spot for a second. I'd say Mr. Hughes and I would go down and tunnel down, but at the end of the day, you're here for a ride along, and you should see how things go. They're gonna work. Yeah, that's true. Plus, we can't always set the tunnel anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. So I guess we full go up there. Uh, yeah, we can. I mean, it's. Yeah. It's also just a decent lock to it at the moment. Also, has anyone in chat heard about this game coming out this year called Jump Ship? I only just heard about it today, but it looks and sounds awesome. So, people are describing it, right? It's like a sci-fi. Imagine, like, Sea of Thieves crossed with, like, Left 4 Dead and stuff. So, you're it's like co-op like Helldivers, like you're a team of four. Uh, you go around in a starship, you do stuff in space, on planets and that. You can actually, like, while someone's flying, people can actually, like, walk out onto the hull of the ship. And you go do missions, yeah, in space, on the ground. Um, a whole bunch of stuff, but it looks awesome, like, space battles. Um, yeah, like, it's got, like, Hell Divers, Deep Rock Galactic vibes with, like, Sea of Thieves elements. Oh, I... Oh, you saw it, Mrs. Phenom? Oh, it, and it's, it's, uh, so it should be coming out this year on PC and Xbox. So hopefully, hopefully like Sea of Thieves, it will have cross-play. Um, so then Mr. Phenom can, I can play some with Mr. Phenom as well. Because that looks like the next, like, like I'm loving Helldivers and I've hey, loved boys, Deep Rock me. Galactic, but that feels like the next... 
game I'm gonna really sink my teeth into because like Just, uh, stop at Blackwater General I've Center thought like you know like a space sea of thieves kind of game oh yes um, also Mrs Phenom um Lontre and Toaster said they actually had a really great time playing with Mr Phenom the other night so I'll definitely um, I'll definitely try and tee up some more nights every now and again just to you know get together as a group of four and see who's around do some stuff have a bit of a laugh yeah they had a really good time um lontre actually said um he he said he was actually very impressed with how good mr phenom is at jumping on the sails uh handling you know unloading stuff loading stuff bilging and all that like just really like uh Preemptively doing stuff. Which is always great. Rocky Sank, thanks for the follow. Howdy, partner! Oh no, Blackwater's a little weird lately. Yeah, I won't be too long. I'm just gonna go yeah, in black water. Day. Oh, yep. It's not liking my eyes. Hang on. Howdy. 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 How are you fine gentlemen today? Yeah, not too bad. Oh, yeah, not fantastic. Too bad. Howdy gentlemen. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, just stopping by. I'm uh, selling the sports. What's that? Uh, I'm selling this horse. Oh, nice. That's very nice. Yeah, so mm. I was just dropping in to say uh, it's for sale. It's a Norfolk Road star. It is 61 years old. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's it's going for for $1,250. Not bad. Um, unfortunately, I'm pretty good for a horse at the moment, mate. Yes, sir. Um, That's all right. Yeah, we just we have to get out of Blackwater. Our eyes are really hurting. But, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, gentlemen. Best of luck. Okay, that's a black water. Let's go. Yep, uh, black water is not my friend or my friend right now. 61 year old, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Ash? I was like, oh. Well, my horse, I mean, I think, you know what? I think a lot of the horses are 61 years old at the moment. How, how? Yeah, how old do horses get on average? 80. Uh, yeah, 80. 80? Yep. Holy shit. Before it was about th 25, 30. Yeah, right. That's right. But, uh, so what I think, uh, so I was talking to someone yesterday. Uh, I think horses age a lot faster, yeah. but they live a lot longer. Yeah. I better see how old old, old Onyx is. It'd probably be, I'd say 80. Oh, not 80, 61. Oh my god. Yeah. I'll tell you what, when uh, all the horses cock it, war trains are going to make a lot of money. Yeah! I think they're going to, I think they're going to cock it about the same time. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember how the new uh, stables came into town. Yeah. Uh, Can you, like, arrange with another horse owner to, like, breed your horses together to get a foal ready? I'm not sure. Not too sure. It'd be great to have like an Onyx Junior on the way. Oh, that'd be good. I mean, you could probably purchase this one now. Oh, I, I don't know if you can breed it. Uh, I gotta, gotta give him a good full laugh because every now and again I swear I hear him, you know, mumble, you know, <laughs> lick my. <laughs> Of course, of course. Will this Levi? <laughs> Who the Levi. hell's Levi? Levi's like it's another good old de uh, department member. He left, uh, but he, he left me his horse before he before he headed off, which was nice. Yeah, that's, oh, that was nice. But... I ended up giving my uh, my original uh, bread to Bill Burns. <sighs> Fortunately. Uh, Sassy passed away too. Who, that's uh, 
not, not sassy the Sasquatch, but Clive Freeman's uh, horse. Remember his horse, Sassy? I oh, do yes. not. Uh, it was a Breton as well, so I gave him my original Breton. What the hell's a Sasquatch? Uh, you'll see him. Alright. Big, giant, hairy man. How's it going, mate? Talks like that. He's a doctor. Ain't that just a gorilla? How can a gorilla yeah. be a... Be a doctor? Gorilla. Uh, it sort of looks like a gorilla. Alright. You know, but, when I was a boy, my mama took me to the circus and I was one of them gorillas in a cage. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's alright. Gorilla in a cage. Yeah. That'd be interesting to see. Well, Hughes and I were attacked by a cougar not long ago. Hmm. And I don't mean the ones that you find at the saloon. Ooh. My favorite kind. Yeah, this one uh, came to give me hugs and swiped out my back. Ain't that lovely. Oh, yeah. Not really. I mean, I was bleeding out of my back. Actually, speaking of cougars, Fluffy. Hold up. Stop. E fluffy, 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 fluffy. Ah, stop, 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 stop. That's a Let me introduce you to Fluffy. Fluffy likes to give people hugs, so we uh, oh. put Fluffy to sleep. Oh, poor you Fluffy. It like. He's not, he's not dead. He's asleep. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Lovegood, this is Fluffy. All right, Fluffy is uh, very dangerous to the people around the around the town. All right, we just put him to sleep. He's not right. dead, he's just a... How about a nap? Wait, uh, where's Razor okay. gone? There. Oh. What the hell? I might as well take Fluffy with me. Alright, let's go to... Um, That drug addict. No, they're just uh, two young, younger people that decided to go have a good time and uh, had a bit too much of a good time. Uh, yeah, right.
back and see if they're still dealing or? No, they haven't dealt for quite a while. Right. So I mean, if, if they were still, if they were still fresh, I'd say maybe uh, scope out the area, wait for them to sell again. But uh, they've just done one sale like 20 minutes ago. Or whatever. That time on. Yeah, right. Here we go. No, just checking. Very good. That's good to ask questions. I like that. What we'll do is just make our presence known. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, so it looks like you've had a bit too much to drink. Yeah, yeah. they drank too much. Jesus. Take the mask off in town. Howdy, partner. Howdy, buddy. Howdy, ma'am. Just, uh, just your mask off. My name's, down, uh, please. Officer Hughes. How, how you going? Do you, not too uh, bad, Hughes. Yourself? You not too bad. Uh, we man. got some reports not too long ago about some, uh, weird dealings happening in town. You haven't happened to see anything weird going on recently? No, the only weird thing I've seen, sir, was all the people just walking oh, around like zombies. Ah, that yeah, that'll be on account of the drug deals going on. We've been messing with yeah, their heads. Enough. Yeah, no, I don't know where it was, but there were some weird people in town, but I think they're gone. All right. Oh, well, thank you for your time. I'll let oh, you get back to it. So. Too easy, sir. Exactly. But uh, either way, I could just get your mask off in town, please, ma'am. That would be amazing. Thank you. No problem. You're gonna have a great day too. How are we doing, sir? How are we doing? How are you doing, sir? <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go, boys. Let's, let's sir? Time. Hello, sir? Are you alright? Sir? Good day there, friends. Oh, hello, sir. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, it's alright. I thought we were getting ram raided again. Oh, you been experiencing some troubles in town recently? No, I don't think so. I think there was a man peddling some illegal wares, I think, earlier. Yes, I was just about to ask, have you, did you happen to see anything about that recently? No, well, I've done a couple of laps around, uh, around the town. I've seen a lot of locals about. It looked very, very peculiar. Yeah, walk around I, like I zombies. See, that's right. I didn't see anything... That was out of the blue at all. I did try to check everything, but I, uh, yeah, I couldn't find anything, unfortunately, friend. I don't know where he's hiding. Oh, no, no worries. Well, look, if you happen to see anything in the near future, please let us know. Because, yeah, we completely, I think we right completely away. missed it. Is that a man on a one-cart train? Why, Is that is, of course. I was just having a chat with Mr. Oh, Billy look before. At that. A partner, what the hell is this? Hello? Oh. Right, that'll be Donkey doing doing stuff. <laughs> You're against the Irish guy, Ash. Donkey doing donkey dance, <laughs> Minty. Oh, when was that? That was. Excuse me, Mister. Oh.
Got him out. Hello. How you doing? I'm 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 I'm, I'm good. How, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Doing all right. Yep, 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 yep. Damn. I don't think I'll What's get a hold name? of um. Uh, my, 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 my name, my name, my name, my name, my name, my name, Billy. Billy. Oh yeah, I believe I met you yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah you did. Yeah, you were mining with uh, the Automa. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's all right. What are you up to tonight, mate? I uh, just 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 check my mail. Okay, beautiful. Is that your uh your mode of transport over there? Yep, 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 yep. That 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 that's my going to town cart. Oh, that's yeah, pretty check cool. Check it out. It's like a man-powered train. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That's oh, pretty cool. That's, uh, that's you mind if I give the, it a uh, quick look, Billy? You need two people, right? Let's try it, Mr. Hughes. Sad he look. What? Oh, oh yeah. Is that made to be moving? I think so. It's not really yeah. going very far, or fast. <laughs> I don't think it's working. I don't think either. We're uh, moving the wheels, but we're not going anywhere. Is it? I think it's just a way to get people to exercise. I don't mind it. Up, down, up, down, up, down. We need one of these in uh, the department training. Oh. Up, it, it's down. just spinning up. on the sp spot. It is. Oh, that. Ah, ah, ah. Ow. Billy. Is that how it's supposed to work? Uh, uh, you, 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 you just don't have the muscles. Oh, uh, Lou could have done that by himself. I'm stuck. Ow. You alright? No, I'm not. You're right. No. You crushed Hang on, me. Man, I got him. I got him. Be careful, a train could train might come. Uh, it's. It's. Oh, Lou, it's look at come. it! The one man wagon's carriage is coming back. Oh. I can't move. I'm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. He's really stuck there, ain't he? I need a doctor. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry. He's awake. <laughs> oh, don't kick me, you bastard. Sorry, that's what you love. Good love, Pat. Maybe, maybe you should stick to your job, and I, 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 I stick to mine. All right, yeah, fair yeah. enough, Billy. All right, Billy. Should we call a doctor for him? <laughs> uh, take me to Valentine. Uh, All right, let's get go, buddy. Sorry about your friend. It's uh, uh, these things happen. Yeah. If you get run over. Yeah. Just. Uh, yeah. Oh. No. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! You, uh, you, uh, you still looking for the gentleman's the Uh, which ones? Yeah, uh, which ones? Are there? Ones that might have been giving out some uh, alerts. There's a gentleman in the laneway next to the pelt cellars. He's all masked up, looking very, very sus. That gentleman that just ran out just now from that said alleyway. Not the gentleman of color. He's another gentleman in there with a white mask on. Yeah, he just ran out from that said alleyway. 
Ah, I didn't see it, sorry. Go for it, I'll take you back to that one, Tom. Just a couple more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just saw yeah, all the sheriffs they just get around the country on those here, one of those each. I'll do my best when I ride, ride into town on that, like, I'm here! <laughs> I made it! Where's the crime? Right now, my vision's okay. And then they can't carry people around because their arms are too tired. They're like, <laughs> oh, is it Willie? Let's meet up here, Better not be Willie Jones. I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh, you're Tom Lawyer. I saw you in the chat before. Hello. If you're still there. Sorry. It's just stuff kept happening. I'll stay back a bit. I hear wolves. Oh, uh, no. They can probably smell Lou. Probably. Uh, I'm at Wolf Man. Alright, uh, you'll make it, don't worry. I know. Fucking, it will be Woodman. Fucking smoke it off. Yeah, everyone will look like Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Rocky Saint. Love you, Sheriff RP. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm actually, um,. I actually haven't been doing Sheriff uh, RP properly for a, uh, a couple of months, so this is... Still love I'm still getting back into the swing of things. Baby, don't hurt but I appreciate me. that. Thank you. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me. No more. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> That's all right, that's all right. Where the hell is Arkham's going? Oh, crap. Oh, well, that ma yeah, that makes your... Talks. Oh, that makes it even better, Rocky Sane. I try to just... Is that Miss Peña there? I... I... I try to add a bit of... Hey, Miss Peña. A bit of humor. Um, try to play a bit dumb so that... So that we're not catching criminals straight away, but yeah, Sorry. at times I'll be, you know, very switched on. Um, just try to be friendly with people if they're friendly. Yeah, a bit dumb. <laughs> well, it's just I. Is that Lou? It's just frustrating yeah. sometimes when. You know, a criminal will be crushed by a car. putting on a voice or in a disguise, and lawman will just be like, "Oh, that's such and such," and it's like, "Come on, you got to play along, at least for a bit." Since when are you bold? Got a shot in the head. My days. Yeah, that the shame he's head, apparently. I think I remember was there being a Richards thing where I got sold. There have been wow. some, um, there have been some Americans that have played on this server. Jesus. More right here, about good, but it, yes, it is a, like. it is an Aussie-based server. So of course, connection and that is yeah. a big part. Yeah. I imagine the oh, American servers would really be popping off. Can't fucking crush me. And you would have a lot of great accents. But I've heard my, I've heard my, 
I've heard my southern accent ain't Maybe half bad for, a, for an Aussie. Go across Great Plains? Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Good fun. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah, I don't really, it is. Don't really want to take your body through your strawberry. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Now it's going to be stuck in my head. Great song, though. Do, 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 do. What is love? I can't, for the life of me, remember what the verses are for that song. I can only remember the chorus. What the hell are the verses? Can't remember any of them. the lyrics. Yo, MJ. I'm still going good. Had a very busy day at work. It's good to just be chilling out with some Red Dead. I'm doing, I'm playing as my lawman character tonight. My, um, my law character was kidnapped for a while and was uh, a, essentially a drug slave in Guam for a time, but it's recently come back and is getting back Very in the nice swing of things. I, uh, last year I got I made it to sheriff. I was the sheriff of West Elizabeth, which was... Uh, it was cool, but it was very difficult because there was a lot of criminals in Blackwater and Strawberry. It was really tough. I, I had a lot of trouble keeping up. Oh, you're in India. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, what's the India? Is the Indian time zone more suitable for Australian times? I wonder. Is India above Western Australia on the map-ish? Would it be in the same sort of slot? Because, yeah, we got a few Western Australians that play. Uh, well, I've, I've got three characters, but I only I only regularly play as George Hughes, this one, and Lord Valdemar the Vampire. I used to sometimes play as my third character, Charles Bainson, um, but I just, it, I just don't have enough time for three characters. Maybe one day he'll come back. Maybe. That's right, he's European. He's not a vampire, he's European. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. What is love? I think, yeah, how did I talk as Bainson? He's like, oh, you're right there, love. You know, like, like a really Bush intense car, like British yeah, accent because I based him off of um, uh, Tom Hardy's Tom Hardy's um, interpretation of Bane and when he played um, he plays Charles Bronson in the Bronson movie which is about uh, a, a British criminal and I was basically he was gonna you know he's all like cockney and that but then he was going to become a criminal. He's, he was going to talk like Bane from the Dark Knight Rises. Like, oh, you think darkness is your ally? Crashing this plane with no survivors. Or perhaps you'd wonder why you'd shoot a man before throwing him out of a plane. He was all, he was all going to be like that when he ever wore a mask. But I never got to that stage, unfortunately. But maybe one day I'll bring him back and he'll fight uh, the Batman character. Oh. oh, playing as a hitman would be so cool. I've often thought that if Hughes ever... Um, let's say something really bad happened and Hughes either had to leave the law department or he got fired... Um, I would probably make 
Hughes become a, a bounty hunter. Oh, my sta horse's stamina ain't looking too good. Uh, so I'm on the east... I'm on the east side of Australia, and it is currently 9.45 p.m. Well, as a hitman, I guess you could put out, like... Like, you'd want to remain a bit, you know, anonymous. I imagine you'd put up posters. Like, I've thought about it. Like, I'd put up posters being like, Yo, if you want to hire my services, you've got to meet me at this discreet location at this certain time, um, you know, come alone or like, you know, leave a note in a bin at this location with a message and then I'll give you a message as where to go next. Like leave a bit of a trail for people to find you. Baby, don't hurt me no more. weird but the door opened weird I'll put you on the ground call a uh, doctor okay there's no doctor here I think that's fine oh I'll be right back okay telegram General Shanks, I have just returned to Valentine, if soon suits you. Kind regards! George Hughes! I might have a, a meeting with the, uh, General Shanks soon. Alright, that's nice to know. I think he sent me a telegram too. Yeah, he sent me one as well. I haven't sent him anything back yet. Sit this chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd have your normal persona and then like your hitman persona. I reckon it could work. It'd be really cool. Like, yeah, and like an anti hero. That'd uh, be. You don't see how he is. That'd be sweet. Oh, uh, oh I think I gotta save another this... telegram. I'll be what back did... again. That's, uh... <sighs> My brain's bad today. <sighs> I'm here, here in Valentine. Oh! There's some very bruised ribs there. Yeah, I'm alright, mate. I'm alright. Oh, I'm gonna sit down again. My head hurts. Yeah, feel good. Oh! The, 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 uh, the general's in Valentine right now. I'm gonna quickly find him, say hello, and I'll be back. Alright, tell him I'll good. Back as well. I'll remind him about you, Lou. Don't you worry. Alright.
Howdy. Oh, howdy, Doc. Oh. That looks like it might be a general. Excuse me, sir. Are you the general? Oh, yes, I am, son. Oh, nice to meet you, George Hughes. Is that your service? George Hughes. Oh, it's a wonder to meet you, Mr. Hughes. Fuck your tall man. Oh, yeah, just, you know, eating lots of beans. You know what that means? You're perfect for the cavalry again. Because you're oh. ten feet tall. You ain't thunder shit lightning, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I do my best, sir. Is there someone you'd like to have a chat about it? That's your sure thing, son. You want to take a ride up to the folk? Oh, sure. All right, let's yeah, go. Let's it. <laughs> Why is he so short? Yeah, Holy is. shit, oh. you're ten feet tall. Calm yourself. <laughs> Ah, that's rather. Alright. <laughs> oh, I better go off duty. So I just had you to in, go off uh, duty. Some previous engagements. Pardon? I take it you were in some previous engagements? You with the first cavalry? Is that correct? Oh, uh, yes, I, um. I, I, I took part in some training, which was nice, and I actually got to lead a little bit with some, I led, I trained, uh, did a little bit of a marching training, and, uh, uh, you know, like firing in a line, like back when we used uh, muskets back in the day. Oh, excellent. You know, line everyone, you know, present arms, fire, that, that kind of thing, I had a marching in a line, you know, you know, left, will, and, and all that jazz. Uh, that was nice, and then I took part in the uh, the Battle of Tumbleweed, where unfortunately uh, that area, New Austin, fell to the Mexican army. Yeah, I heard about that. But we put up a hell of a fight. Well, that's good. I wouldn't expect nothing less. It was good, it was just, but then it was a shame. It's just everything fell apart, and we we lost a, a general. Oh, I can't remember his name. He just disappeared. I think maybe he was captured by the Mexicans or something. That's a damn shame. Yeah, it seems like they're holding that territory pretty strong. Yeah. I came in here. We've, uh, this is the new 13th Cavalry Regiment. Oh, 13th! Mm -hmm. oh, it would be a pleasure be to the, serve uh, again. Colonel of the 12th Kentucky. So All I, right. When I came in here to start up this one, I thought it'd be fitting to call it the 13th. Oh, sounds good to me. Oh, and just a reminder, I, I was just with a, I had on uh, law patrol with some of the other fellas. Uh, Lieutenant uh, wanted, you, wanted you to know he's expressed interest in uh, returning as well, if you've got his name on a led, in a ledger mm -hmm. or something. I do, I do. He's just, uh, uh, he, he's currently seeing a doctor. Oh, well, I hope he's okay, fit for duty. Oh, <laughs> right, we're always getting shot. Oh, falling over our horses. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. Tell you what, I uh, get shot myself a couple of times today. Oh, imagine but, uh, quite a lot to make it to general. Mm hmm. So I was just uh, looking around, making sure that I wasn't getting uh, attacked by anyone. Sometimes the locals here, they don't like me as much as the old general. They Aww. sometimes think it in their heads to set up a coup and try and attack me. I'll give them time. They, they, they're passionate men. They are passionate men. I've had to call it Marshal more than a dozen of them now. Oh, dear. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's my, my new office at the moment. It's comfortable. You can take a seat right there if you'd like. Oh, thank you, sir. Just gonna have to help myself to a seagull here. <laughs> so, Mr. Hughes. Uh, essentially, I'll give you the, uh, the lowdown of what's, uh, going on with the cavalry here. We've, uh, come back into town, into the county, rather, to essentially set up our presence once more. Uh, we will be conducting mainly garrison duties at several of the forts around, just to show our presence, and some patrols, where we're going to be, uh, looking to, uh, make sure that everyone is, uh, a United States citizen. Oh, love to Those hear. Are our main duties at the moment. Uh huh. That and community outreach and uh, fundraising. So 
we're looking to uh, go town to town, talk to the businesses, try and get some funding, because I'll be honest with you, fella, the U.S. Army, we destitute. We lost that last war to Mexico, and we ain't gonna shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, so I'm going town to town, putting my smart face on, telling people how it is. You join the U.S. Cavalry, you support the U.S. Cavalry, you become the biggest dick in all the land. <laughs> and it's true. How I love my country. Amen. Amen to that, yeah, brother. <laughs> anyway, our main duty yeah, will be uh, garrison and patrolling. You know, looking around. Uh, we don't have any you know, legal rights as you sheriffs do. We can't detain any citizens or anything like that. But we can, you know, guide them and show them where to get identification. You know, take them with us. Get my heart to become a U.S. citizen. Uh-huh. Tell them all the benefits of being, you know, a member of this fine country. Voting, all that sort of fun stuff that they can do. And, uh, you know, if they refuse to get identification, well, we just try and take their name, let the sheriffs know yourself, you know, being a sheriff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Know that if you don't have identification, you're an illegal immigrant. The sheriffs can detain you, send you off on your way. Yeah, yeah. And so we'll just send them your way. Essentially. No, I, yeah, I imagine, yeah, there'd be a very great relationship with the cavalry and the sheriffs. I'm hoping so. One of the things I'm doing with this community outreach and this uh, fundraising is trying to bring some money back to the doctors and to the sheriffs. Because I heard that you fellas, you know, ain't doing so well yourself. <laughs> no, I heard today that we, uh, we're a bit in debt. Mm-hmm. And I know how that feels, so doing some community outreach for the both of us, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, now, before I had a bit of a away period at the end of last year and the start of this year, uh, my role in the Sheriff's Department, uh, a big role of it was uh, uh, scrapping, you know, melting down uh, anything we had in the evidence locker that was excess, that, you know, being there too long, you know, make room for more. A big part of that mm -hmm. is uh, we get a lot of, you know, we, we take a lot of guns off criminals. Now, is the U.S. Yeah. Cavalry looking to uh, uh, stock up uh, an armory, so to speak, for, for the recruits? Yes, we are, son. Yes, we are. Well, if you, I'm, I'm still getting back to the swing of things with the law department. I could, uh, I could speak to the sheriff or, or the marshal, and uh, because I, it, it seems that I'm going to be put back in charge of, of that, but. I would happy to, uh, you know, if there were certain rifles and other other weapons that you were wanting to, you know, stock up on, I could probably, you know, come to an agreement with them where, you know, we, we uh, strip them of all their, you know, fancy fandangled engravings and all that, you know, needless, you know, flair, and you know, give it, and then hand it over to the U.S. Cavalry, you know, ready to go back to, back to bases. I mean, the main guns we've been looking for would be something like bold actions and Winchesters. Bold action and Winchesters. I, th I think that's mm -hmm. reasonable. I think that'd be reasonable with the with the with the upper sheriffs. I, I'll I'll I will see what I can find out from. Yeah, that'd be excellent. We can key that up. This. I also want to try and uh, get a meeting with one of the old marshals. Yep. And mm -hmm. A little chit chat, and uh, you know, shoot the shit, talk some brass tacks about uh, some questions I had about the local city ordinance. Because I know, traditionally, citizenship ain't allowed to walk around town with rifles on their back. Mm -hmm. But when I have my boys out there on patrol, including yourself, and we are out there, you know, patrolling in town or, you know, anywhere else that we set up a patrol, they're going to need at least one long arm on their back. Oh, I, I met well. They, you know, for the law department, it's fine to keep a long arm on the on, around on the when they're in town. I imagine, you know, being part of the government, I imagine that'd be that'd be no problem. But um, uh, if I if yeah. I happen to see Marshal Joe uh, in the near future, I'll remind him to get in contact with you. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean though, like of course, if my boys are off duty, you know, they ain't expected to be able to keep that on their back, and you can tell them as much. Mm. I've been telling them as much, you know, if the sheriffs tell you to take your long arm off your back, that's city ordinance, that's the rules, that's the law. You take that long arm off your back. And I gather they'd be in uniform? 
yeah, they'll be in uniform. So, like, whenever they are in uniform and we're doing a patrol, I'd like to be able to, you know, be a little bit ignorant of that city ordinance for them. I think, I think that should be fine. I, I, I would be surprised if that wouldn't be okay with the marshal. But I don't want to put words yeah. in his mouth, but I, I don't... No, that's exactly... That's why I want to try and key that up and see if that's something we can agree upon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because it would be nice to be able to have them have a service rifle when they're, you know, working the service. Oh, you never know when Mexican raiders are going to come through somewhere like St. Denis or, or the, you know, we're really nervous about the Guama military as well. Mm-hmm. What do you know about them Guam folks? They've been doing much around these parts? Well, I, I hate to say that I've had more to do with them than I would like over the last few months. So, look, I, I don't know if you read much of the newspapers, but I was actually captured by them for a time. They captured a U.S. citizen? Well, see, I was on my way back to the United Kingdom... To, uh, to visit extended family, I'd received a letter that, you know, my great uncle or something was incredibly sick. So I was uh, on my way there, but it seems I must have, you know, shipwrecked or something or, you know, fallen off the boat. I don't know, but I essentially they took advantage of me in my, my dizzy state, you know, suffering from a bit of memory loss. And they, they basically fed me all these lies and they had me work in the fields out in Guama for a time. Oh shit, that ain't seem right. So when I, when I say that I want to do my part again, not only in the chef's department but for the U.S. Cavalry, it's I've got a I've got real determination to do that because I the the amount of drugs they're producing over there, the complete lack of just they they just don't care. They come over here and hand off bricks of cocaine whoever they want, and they grab whoever they want. It's... You're telling me a foreign nation is producing mass amounts of illicit substances and flooding them out of our beautiful shores? Well, look, I only, they only brought me over one time. But essentially my role was to carry, I had to carry about, I think it was like 15 bricks of cocaine. And uh, we met with some people out in the desert, handed them over. Um, yeah, they... Um, yeah, they they have no issue with just shipping drugs off here to sell. And I assume they're doing so without any, you know, citizenship documents here either. Well, it's an illegal smuggler. My main right. my main duty while I was had the wool covered over my eyes was you know working the fields and overseeing the other workers. But uh, it I was under the impression that there was an arrangement with the doctors here to receive. Uh, cocaine paste for right, for medicine, like, you know, but then they were using the excess. Like but then they they were using the excess to make bricks for recreational use. Right. So they set up some sort of legal import, and then they're on the side doing this illegal stuff. That that, uh, as far as I know, but I, I wasn't. I was just a you know muscle. To an extent, but but I'm very thankful that uh, it caught wind that I was there. Some people recognized me and whatnot, and and some of the sheriffs came to rescue me. So, but but yeah, it, so I just I don't I really don't want that to happen to anyone else. That's very interesting. So the marshals sanctioned a international raid. Well, I think I think a few of the boys just did it did it on their own sort of they just oh, came in and grabbed me and home. got out yeah, yeah. cowboy sheriff <laughs> very cowboy oh right well <laughs> i've seen more than my fair share of cowboy action in my day it's, I've, I've heard it's Look all about a friend like yourself in some shit in some foreign country i want to get in there myself too oh me get too me too politicking is yeah sometimes you just gotta you know, look look at the the greater good. Mm hmm You know what? I really want to key up that meeting with one of your marshals talk more about this Guam situation. I want to read some of the posts, see what else you got dug up on them, because I'm I'm intrigued at this point. Oh look, no them 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 bringing me back was just the tip of the iceberg. They've uh, they've been keeping an eye on 
you know, key individuals that come to and from Guam. And, uh, yeah, I imagine, I imagine we could definitely, our two, the, the two agencies could definitely work together to cover, you know, make sure there's always, you know, patrols and keeping an eye on key ports so that we can mm -hmm. stop them just bringing in that poison. Yeah, well, when I came in, I was under the impression that the main threat here would have been the, uh, occupation of the, uh, New Austin area, but... This new threat you're telling me about, that's kind of, oof. I don't know what to think. I, I just need to have a meeting with someone. We Talk got no shortage of enemies. What we can do to help. <laughs> no shortage of enemies. It's, uh, I'm yeah. just so scared for when the Mexican army rears their ugly head again. That's the last thing we need. Last thing I need is to fight on two fronts, definitely. <laughs> no, that's right. You got, you got the threat down in New Austin with the Mexicans, and then you got Guamanese coming in on the ports up in God knows where on the east. Ah, well, shit, looks like I got my work cut out for me. I thought I was coming in here just to set up some garrisons. <laughs> but uh, I might have to have these meetings and see what we can dig up. Well, yeah, see might if you can... Set uh... up some scouting missions and some patrols to make sure there's no shit going down on our soil. Oh, that... That sounds brilliant. But, yeah, def definitely try and get in contact with... Uh... Uh, Marshal Joe, Smiley Joe, as he calls himself. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I, I will if I get a, if I see him before you, I'll I'll really uh, emphasize that he should get in touch with you ASAP. All right, I very much appreciate that. So, uh, you'll be able to uh, attend our little uh, induction day on Friday, or you are uh, otherwise engaged? Well, I'm still they're still. Bit by bit, they bring me back up to speed with everything I've missed with the Sheriff's Department. Unfortunately, I've already booked out for training with the Sheriff's Friday night. That's all right. Uh, and I can telegram you any sort of information that we uh, give out on that day. I'm basically getting the boys together, telling them what their new ranks are going to be, doing an exercise, and basically set them up. They're all a uh, new bunch of greenhorn recruits. Coming through basic training at the moment, then we're going to be assigning them rank in a platoon. Oh, loved it! That's fantastic. That you've had such a great reception so far. I'm really, I'm really mm -hmm. looking forward to riding with the cavalry again. It's just my first, my first priority always will be the sheriff's department. But then anytime mm -hmm. I'm free and able, definitely, yeah, I'll do my part for the cavalry again. Well, I completely understand. At the moment, we're sort of a reservist regime. I only expect maybe a day, a week, for doing, uh, you know, patrols or a garrison or something like that. I was setting out uh, little missions like that for the boys. And uh, hopefully we don't have to go to war, because otherwise it will each time. <laughs> oh, well, last time when we were fighting the Mexicans last year, uh, I met a, uh, what was he, He's the, a governor or something, or assistant governor, and he was... He was having to jack up the prices across all the stores to to fund the war effort. Oh, shit. It was looking really bad. Yeah, that would look, uh, that would look mighty painful. Fuck. Well, here's hoping we don't get something like that. The last thing we need in this county is some sort of famine. No! Oh. Getting all these young men out of the country shipped off in some boat somewhere or going out into the desert and finding them the fucking heat. Oh, I, the 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 carnage I saw at the Battle of Tumbleweed. I I would not wish that on anyone. We were the group I was in. We were assigned to basically charge the cliffs, and uh, we were run in formation towards them cliffs, and then we were met with a hellfire of explosive ammunition from the top of the cliffs, just raining down upon us. We then had to get down on foot, and we had to charge up, and we had to basically run up the uh, the road between, in the valley, in the canyon, and then we had mm -hmm. to try and, you know, step by step, fight our way up the hillside and to this rock. And then I, I witnessed many of my comrades get gunned down by men with shotguns, and it was, it was a massacre. Shit. That sounds like some kind of battle. It, and we were hoping that us distracting them on that front would allow the other group 
that were coming up from the south to get in, but they were also met with a hellfire of explosive ammo. It, I was wounded on that hill. Luckily, we, uh, myself and the other wounded were dragged back. But uh, it all came down. There was a, 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 a citizen. He was actually running for mayor of St. Denis for a while. Mr. Stephen Hagelon. He was left out in no man's land, out in tumbleweed. Uh, he, he stripped himself of his uniform, rolled around in the mud and the dirt, and he was crawling around in the heat, just trying to find any way to, I don't know, assassinate their leader or something. But, no, they got him. Oh, shit. It was, yeah. Yeah, I think you might be familiar with a couple of fellows that have been signing up as well from the old stories here. Uh, Mr. Dome said he used to fight with the first cavalry. Oh yes, yeah, and, uh, no, he was uh he was in the charge with me. Mm -hmm. He's someone I used to know actually. Uh, when I ran the 12th Kentucky in the Civil War, oh. I was his colonel. Oh well, there you go. Wow, I did not know yeah. that. Yeah, small world. And so uh, I brought him back up to speed. He's going to be this uh, you know, Fort's quartermaster. He's going to be in charge of provisions and medical supplies and ammunition oh. deal-outs for all the, uh, all the members of this fort. Oh, wow. Oh, good on him. He's a bit too uh, old for active service now, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a funny old fella. I'd say he's too old. He's about 20 years younger than me. You know, I'm 97 years old. Oh, my God. I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, you know why I'm 97 years old and still fighting? You got that red, white, and blue running through your veins? I got that red, white, and fucking blue in my veins. That's right. <laughs> that don't surprise me at all. Mm -hmm. The only thing keeping me alive is that fucking flag. And liberty and justice. Yep. Yep. Uh, I, f I feel that. It's... We're lucky to be here, and I just... All these people, whether they live here or they don't, they just want to ruin it. It's un it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely looking to, uh, you know, make our presence known and be a force for good in this county. I'm also looking to, you know, get some of these boys that are misguided off the streets. This sorry sack of shits that we got that uh, <laughs> came in our application day, our first orientation day, bunch of criminals. And I told them, I looked at them, I said, that life ends fucking today. You are now members of the U.S. Cavalry. You <laughs> boys are not going to be fucking around. You boys are going to be in the dirt. You boys are going to be beaten down. You <laughs> boys are going to be built back up after you've been beaten down. Then you are going to eat lightning and shit thunder. You are going to be 10 feet fucking tall. You are going to be immortal because you are in the U.S. fucking cavalry. <laughs> that is that is my inspiring. And what a great way to turn people's lives around. Stop the mm -hmm. crime and then serve your country. What? Two birds, one stone. These boys need structure and discipline. They're running around. They're shooting shit. They're dealing drugs. Doing all this nasty shit. Now... They'll be doing push-ups. They'll be going around trying to help their community. And they'll be having fun doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, if it wasn't for, you know, groups like the Chef's Department, I don't know what I'd be doing with my life. I'm so mm -hmm. thankful for it. Exactly. Sometimes a boy just needs a little bit of structure. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't mind having a bit of a, you know, Colorful presence in the military at the moment. And I told them, they get caught doing any sort of crime, I'll court martial hang the fuck as myself. Oh, I imagine when you talk to the marshal, if there's any, you know, anyone you're having troubles with in the cavalry, if you need to see, you know, hear about prior convictions and records and that, I'm sure something could be arranged there too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't give a shit about priors. Everyone's got a prior life. I care about the Future, I care about the present. Mm -hmm. Some of these fellas are looking for redemption. Some of these fellas are angry and want to fight Mexicans. Heck, some of these fellas think we're going to be fighting Guangs. Some of them just want to shoot shit. <laughs> and they're all here and we're all going to tear them down and bring them back up. And be the best of the fucking best. Hell yeah. 
Is that a gold out there? I think it might be. Tell you what, you get all kinds of animals in here. There were wolves here the other day, or fucking goats, chickens. Oh my god. Well, I guess, you know. I think someone's trying to play a fucking trick on me because I'm the new general. They think it's funny. Oh, it's bomb animals out there. <laughs> I, hope they, I hope they don't mind them becoming food for the soldiers. That's breakfast. Uh, that's exactly where they're going. That is breakfast. Oh dear. Oh well, just be, just to be conscious. Real great speaker. Oh, oh, I think I can hear that wolves you're talking about, sir. Uh, take a look. There's somebody here. Hello there. Oh my God. Oh shit. These local soldiers took them all that. Oh, these animals running all over the place. The fuck kind of farm you? Oh, the horses got out of the stable. I think I saw That's a hunter wild. at the gate. Hunter at the gate? Alright, let me take a look. Oh my god. Fucking garrison's back again. And their job actually looking after the gate. Oh, there is a fella out there. You're right, I think he chased the walk up in there. I don't know, who the hell's that? Is it a native? Oh, he's looking at us. I'm gonna go say hello. <laughs> just, just, you just hear wolves in the like, Oh my god! No, no, Good I don't. Evening, sir, can you hear me? No, I don't oh, become a bounty hunter who uses job with the law ended. But I don't okay, see that well. happening anytime soon. Oh, hello there, fella. I can hear you. How you doing? I'm doing well, fella. What's your name? My name is Vincent. What about you? Vincent, are you, uh, Dakota's father? Yes, that is me. Yeah, I met your boy the other day. I've actually been looking to speak with you. Oh, did you know? Nothing bad yeah. about huh? No, nothing bad. I wanted to uh, reassure you and your people, I've already talked to this, about uh, Mr. Dakota there, that uh, even though we're moving back in the fold here as the U.S. Cavalry, we have no ill will towards your people, and we'd like to, uh, you know, make it known anytime we're doing some training out in these woods or anywhere near here, that we will be at those presents. We'll try not to disrupt your hunting too much. Thank you for your consideration. Yeah. I was actually also looking to hire some of your people to be some scouts. Oh, yeah. Map, map some, yeah, map some terrain for me. Maybe. We'll see. Depends. I must speak to the no, tribe about enough. this. That's fair enough. You speak to your people, make sure it's right by your people. But what if it's right by scouting? your people, it's right by me. Uh, you know, just the general terrain around here. I'm new to this county. Very much, and I'm not familiar with all the tricks and turns, so if you could provide me with some detailed maps of the area, that'd be helpful to plan my patrols. Mm. Place the garrison. Might be able to help with this. Alright, fella. Sounds good by me. My name, by the way, is uh, General Quintus Cincinnati Shanks. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Mr. Vincent. Uh, nice to meet you, Shanks. Here, yeah, take this. And who is your friend? Yes, here is Mr. Hughes. Howdy, partner. It's good to meet you both. Here, yeah, please take this. Ah, oh, thank you kindly. This is a beautiful animal. It was good kill. Looks like a good kill to me. Oh, wow. It also looks like breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you kindly. It's a pleasure to meet you and uh, any other members of your eel coward tribe. Likewise. 
Oh, see you around. Dude. See you around, Mr. Vince. Farewell. Gonna meet you too. Oh, how nice of him. Yeah, nice fella. Oh, this would be a real nice sun, tree for uh, all the boys up uh, in the fort. Will be. Got some nice food for them. They'll be eating some dried fish fillets the last couple of days. Oh, well, that ain't bad, but, you know, after a few days, you know, get a hankering for something else. You doing no tin beans? Oh, stink something fierce up there. Oh, and don't get it. And then the, the price of them? Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Menace, why are the beans so damn expensive? Oh, yeah. Story of my life, sir. Story of my life. <laughs> well, I better I better get back to Valentine. Let's make sure that mm -hmm. Mr. Lieutenant is uh he's mended at the doctors. But it's a pleasure meeting you, General. And I, I look forward pleasure to more uh more work with the cavalry. I look forward to it too. I'll uh, send you a telegram on Friday with how the rankings go. And uh, your assignments. Sounds good. Oh well, until then, sir. Till then. Oh, bloody ripper. Oh. Well, there you go. Cavalry stuff coming back. That'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. I was really looking, I've been wanting to do more of that. That was really fun, the little bits I did last year. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's all about the beans, Rando. Well, I know in the past we've been allowed to go undercover um, within reason. And then, of course, the, there's the Pinkertons. Which is uh, led by Frank Cawley. He um, he regularly goes undercover, and he just put he just does surveillance. Uh, the amount of information he's gathered on his own doing that over the last year has been insane. Like he he's the real MVP. I I was invited to join the Pinkertons back when the server first started, but I just feel like because I stream, I don't think it'd be a good idea. Like, I think it, it's too much risk of metagaming and stuff. And and then people would be avoiding me and then just, you know, it could ruin stuff for other players and then there wouldn't be anything for me to do. So I was like, nah. So I said no to the Pinkertons. I didn't want to do it anyway. I wanted to just be a normal sheriff too. But you never know. Maybe one day. I think the only active Pinkerton is Frank. Think. What was the full name, Ash? Quintus Cincinnati Shanks, I think. Well, that's great. Now that's awesome to see the U.S. Cavalry coming back. Hell yeah! Howdy, partner. How you doing? Good, and yourself? Ugh, felt better. Is that you, Smiley? It sure is. Smiley! Oh my God! Smiley, are you? How much? Are you? How much time do you have? I've, I've got a bit of time. Why's that? Do you want to get in your martial gear? And I, the 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 new General Shanks of the cavalry wants to speak to you. Oh. Um, all right, let me go get. Yeah, go get changed. On. I, I'll take you straight up to him now. I'll, uh, I'll send him a telegram. Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> 
So as um, so as as Hughes here, whenever he would go undercover, uh, his undercover alias was um, he would pretend to be an Irish immigrant called Barnaby Gallows. And he'd talk like this. He'd be like, oh, howdy, howdy, partner. My name's Barnaby. I'm just, you know, I'm an Irish immigrant. I'm here to, you know, just, you know, start a new life here since moving from Ireland. You know, he was all that. And he'd wear, like, a green shirt and a little cap and that and overalls. It was, it was great. Didn't I didn't do it as much as I would have liked, but it was, um, it was very funny. Oh, this would be neat if we can get Smiley up there right now to chat to the general. That'd be... That'd be amazing. Alright. You all feeling alright, sir? Yeah, yeah, just got a, got a bit of a frog in my throat. Oh, yuck. But yeah, I, I literally just had a meeting with General Shanks. Just so, about, uh, you know, taking part whenever there's a, you know, a battle going on or something. So, uh, how the fuck? Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, no! Oh, God. oh, no, General? <laughs> oh, no, General! General, is that you? Yes, yeah, mate. Oh, General's just coming back to see. You. I brought the marshal. Uh, no, I saw a telegram. So I head back to town. Oh, was up. I thought you had a telegram station up there. Oh, um, no, did. we do not. Oh, <laughs> well, you could have introduced us in a different way there. Oh, Mr. Hughes. Wait a second. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry, sirs. Oh no! Oh, shit. oh god. <laughs> I'm. I can't get up. Oh, no. uh, let me help you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Oh, oh my God. That's better. Oh, oh shit. Jim, I'm so sorry. Oh, do you have any medicine for your horse? Uh, look, that's a problem for another time. Look, I'm just going to get myself a band and wrap it around my knee here. Look, let me know if you need some money. I'm happy to pay you back for the horse medicine. I would actually genuinely appreciate that. <laughs> Consider it just you let me know how much and I'll get it to you. But uh Marshall Joe, yeah, this is General Shanks. $10. General Shanks, right. this is Marshall Joe. General Shanks, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, Marshall. It's a pleasure. It's been a been a while since I've had a general come by. Yeah, uh well, I just recently uh came to this uh, county and got assigned here. Building up the new 13th Cavalry Regiment. Yeah, beautiful. And, uh, I heard you boys went up north for a bit. Yeah, they did. They did. Uh, I myself, I was based out in Washington for a while. And, uh, you know, they thought it was about time to get some military presence back here. Still lost the New Austin territories to the Mexicans. And, uh, you know, Mr. Hughes was telling me there's this new looming threat on the horizon. And... Seems like it can't be a better time for me to be back. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've, you've chosen your time and real well. Well, I thought I'd just be relaxing, garrison duty and patrols, trying to get some kids off the streets. <laughs> so, what is, uh, what is my, uh, my captain been telling you? Oh, do we want, maybe, uh, maybe we should get you somewhere private. Maybe go up to the port, I've got a nice office up there. Oh. Perfect, let's do that. Yeah, get you out of the rain. Uh, Marshall here is feeling big. He's got a frog in his throat. No, that's all right. I'll well, get you mind if I get on out. your hopes? Thank you. No problem. <laughs> it's happening again, Smiley. Me and horses just don't go well together. Yeah, kind of realize that. <laughs> Was hoping, uh, hoping your time away kind of cured that. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's get you let's get you fellas up to the fort out of this rain. <laughs> I mean, might appreciate it. <laughs> oh god, I can't wait. We just <laughs> crashed in. Don't worry, General, I'll uh I'll pay I'll pay the uh for the horse. <laughs> well thank you, Captain. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey, Astrid. We've got to watch out for those Firefly brothers. You ever serve yourself? Ever serve myself? Yeah, in the army. No, 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 no. I, 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 I got off and, uh, you know, my, my old bones ain't cut out for the, uh, for the non-stop shooting stuff. Oh, bones, you a whippersnapper. How old are you, 60? Uh, getting there. <laughs> getting just, there. Just hit 58. I 58. swear Smiley was the same, around the same age as me, but I was, uh, proven very wrong. No, How old do you think I am, young. Mr. Smiley? Uh, it could be a day over 42. 42. I'm 97 years old. Oh, <laughs> hell, you still going, huh? Well, just like I told Mr. Hughes here, there's three things keeping me alive, and that's the red, white, and the fucking blue of our flag. <laughs> God bless. God bless America. Astrid, who's the Firefly Brothers? Another gang? Yeah. Oh, no. I'll serve to the day I die. Which is going to be never, because if you join the U.S. Cavalry, you become a mortal, and you become ten feet fucking tall. <laughs> well, it's been a long time since I've been to this port. <laughs> it's a nice place. It's a... Uh... Well, no, I tell a lie. It's a shithole. It smells like bean farms. <laughs> But it's home. Careful of the local garrison, they don't like them too much, and sometimes they start a little bit of a coup. I'm back, fellas. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Don't try shooting me again. 20 plus. Oh, are they the gang that goes down to Tumbleweed to the mines? Man, slacking. <gasps> oh, or are they the one in Strawberry? Because, yeah, shit looks real around those parts. All right, fellas. Well, if you'd like some privacy, I can uh, I can go mingle with the man and keep an eye out. Oh, you're more than welcome to stay. Anything I hear, you can hear. Yeah, there's a seat in the back there if you feel comfortable. Oh, thank you. You don't mind if I have a cigar? I do not mind. I'm having one myself. Oh, there should be some on the Oh, table. whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, right, wrong. I got in the wrong chair. <laughs> so I was just having a chat with your uh, captain, was it? Yep. Oh, well, I'm still corporal currently, sir. Yeah, uh, you're oh. going to be captain shortly. Uh, well, if you keep that up. Sorry, these chairs. Sorry. He keeps that up. Maybe he'll be what? Sheriff? He'll be sheriff by the end of the day. <laughs> oh, shit. What? These chairs are really problematic. Hold on. <laughs> there I got go. it, sir. There we go. Uh, yeah, I was having a nice little chit chat with him. He was giving me some. Uh, Neither of these angles work. Information. Uh, didn't really know much about these landscapes here. Oh, there we go. And to basically oh. try and clear out some of your riffraff problem that you had. Because uh, I know that there's a little bit of crime running rampant. And there's some fellas out there who just got nothing to do. So they result to, you know, being on the street shooting each other. So I thought I'll collect all these boys, give them a bit of structure, give them a bit of discipline. Tell them they're the worthless pieces of shit they are and build them up into the best damn fighting force they've ever seen. Well, you've come at a good time because we could surely use it because I think, uh, I don't know what Mr. Hughes has told you, but I think we got some looming threats coming our way. That's what I was, yeah, that's what I was telling me. Uh, I want to hear more about this Guama stuff. Uh, I want to read some reports, maybe get some more information about it. What the fuck is going on, and why is a foreign nation trying to invade our soil? Well, Pon, I unfortunately don't have the jurisdiction myself to start giving out those reports, but oh. I can talk to the Attorney General. If he gives me clearance, I can share some information. But what I can tell you is, uh, I've got a, I've, I've, I've seen you. You heard of a little place called Guama? Mm-hmm. Mr. Hughes was telling me all about it. Yeah. Well, uh. 
Mr. Hughes was definitely acquainted, very a good acquaintance of uh, Guama. Not by yeah, choice, obviously, the, but... From the sounds of it, he was. But yeah, as he said, he was a uh, forced acquaintance. So, uh, and uh, what I can talk about is when I did go over there, uh, I was expected maybe, you know, just a couple of, you know, maybe a gang or so, but what's happened there is no gang behavior. Something bigger. Something bigger. So, yeah, unfortunately... Worth taking a peek at, maybe setting up a scouting mission or something. I would definitely recommend that, Pana. I can't, I can't say that from a marshal's position, but if I was to put myself in the shoes of a uh, a, a great general like yourself, I would uh, definitely be maybe sending out a few scouts to uh, see what they're planning. All right. Well, before I can you know send people away to foreign soil, I am going to see if we can get that attorney general permission for me to look at some reports. I need that guaranteed proof that they're, you know, up to some no good. Out of, out of curiosity, did you know anything about Guama before getting coming here from Washington? No, from what I heard, that New Austin was the big problem, being, you know, under Mexican uh, occupation. Yeah, and we've... Uh, there was a trouble with a bit of the riffraff. <laughs> yeah, and I've, uh, I've had hit been hearing, you know... Words on the, uh, word in the towns that apparently the Mexicans are stirring up again. Mm-hmm. I was talking to Hughes. It'd be just my luck to come to a nice quiet place to live out the twilight of my life, teaching some young boys some discipline, and being caught between two fucking shit sticks. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's exactly the situation you're probably going to be finding yourself in. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to be having... Enemies coming from both sides, essentially. I mean, it ain't something I haven't dealt with before, but it ain't something I thought I'd get to see again. I won't lie to you. I am excited, but, you know, some prospects are better than others. I thought I would have died 40 years ago, but here I am. Well, you know what they say, there's no rest for the wicked. No, there ain't. Well, partner, I, uh... I'm out, just out of curiosity, how many numbers you got going now? Well, we've uh, did our first induction period, and we got ourselves enough men to field a platoon. So that's two squads of uh, seven men. I've got a captain lined up, and I've got a lieutenant lined up. Actually, you know him. His name is Lieutenant. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, he uh, sent me some telegrams and was interested in re-enlisting. Well, that's not, that's pretty interesting. My captain not giving me that information, but well, either way, if he's serving his country, I ain't gonna stop him. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm happy to take him. I, uh, I believe most of the sheriffs. Uh, I also had a uh, on my first induction day a uh, Hawkness show up as well. Uh. I gave them all a bit of a speech because we had a bit of a ragtag group. We had a bunch of people that uh, Hawkins was claiming was criminals. We had some civilians, a lot of boys, some sheriffs. And I let them know that while you're under my roof, you're all equals. You're all pieces of shit in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sure they enjoyed that. that. Deal with. <laughs> they did. And frankly, they worked together real well. I set them up into five teams. Which will now be, uh, you know, put into these squads and put into that platoon, and they're remarkably effective. Well, Palmer, I saw. I, I asked them to line up in a horizontal straight line, and they did it within two seconds. It's the most impressive thing I've ever seen about a ragtag. <laughs> <country. laughs> That's what I like to hear. Palmer. That's what I like to hear. Well, I, I might have a little suggestion for you, Pawn, if you might be interested. Yeah, what was your suggestion? Well, if you ever needed the numbers to uh, maybe do some training, you know, my boys could always use some training as well, and who who better to learn how to fight? You know, sometimes I try not, we try not to get into fights, but at the end of the day, you know, it's just part of the job sometimes, and who better to learn better fighting from than the uh, the general himself? So maybe I could we could do some training and. Uh, have a little, maybe get some, 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 uh, 
some of those rubber bullets they've been talking about and get some I lava be, uh, fire. I think I'd be very interested in that. I think the boys be interested in some war games. Set but, it up with the sheriff department, nice and friendly. Everyone gets to learn how to shoot proper. What do you think learn about that, Mr. Tank. Hughes? Sound Fed! Oh! Sounds great, sir! There what I go. do then, depending on your sheriff's numbers, is trying to arrange them into being their own little squad. Then we could have three squads going up against each other. Oh, I like the sound of that. It piqued my interest. Also, I had something else to ask you. Uh, What's that, Bonner? I've been looking over the, uh, you know, town laws and ordinances here in this county. And there's a city ordinance at the moment to not have long arms on your back when you're in town. And I was just wondering... If when my boys are on duty in their uniform doing a patrol, let's say they're patrolling the town, depending on whether or not I put them on a patrol to a area that's actually populated or not, would they be able to carry their long arms while they're in uniform? As long as they're in uniform, they are more than happy to do it. I might need to start issuing some licenses to make sure that they can prove identity that they are in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, 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 the cavalry. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, you want to key it up? I'll get all the boys ready. We'll come down and get open carry licenses. I love the Every sound of that. One. Love the sound of that. I'll, uh, I'll, done and nice and legal. I'll, uh, I'll send you a telegram. I'll get you. I'll show you the kind of process I'm thinking, and we'll uh, get that organized. Excellent. I've already told them that uh, if we do get this keyed up. This doesn't mean they get to wear their long arms when they ain't wearing their uniform. It's business as usual when you're in your cities. Exactly. Well, I also Bonner. told them that uh, I don't want them to be committing any crimes on my watch. So if you catch anybody that's got military affiliation doing a crime, I want you to tell me, because I want to deal with them myself. Uh, well, I, I have to I have to be honest, Pawn. If I do catch them, obviously they're going to be doing some time and paying some bills. But oh no, they I'll can definitely do that time you. and pay their bills. But I want a court martial and hang the fucker. I understand, Pawn. I'm sure you have your own forms of punishment. I'm sure it's going to be more frightening than anything we can do legally, anyway. <laughs> I've already given all the boys that warning. They get caught doing a crime, they will be hung. Holy shit. That's what I like to hear, Pana. That's what I like to hear. Fuck. Right, Pana, is there anything else I can help you with? Other than that, I, I might need to uh, start heading home. That that knock off a horse has gotten me feel a little, a little off. So. Yeah, I might, uh, I might join you back to Valentine's if I can get my horse uh, playing ball again. Go to that veterinary. <laughs> but uh, I think that's everything I want to talk about. You key up that... Uh, Telegram to the Attorney General, see if I can get that uh, report, knowledge sorted, or at least some sort of shared documents, so I can see with my own good eye what the fuck's going on in this county. Perfect and then weigh up, the, uh, weigh up the choices I may have, because, you know, it ain't, it ain't an easy thing sending some boys over to a foreign nation. I need to get... All my dots and T's crossed, etc. Trust me, partner, I know all about that. All too well. Mm -hmm. Just make sure all you right. uh you make sure you take care of them boys when they go over. I will. Those boys right. are my boys now. We family. <laughs> Anyway, um, here, Pawn, I gave you $60. That'll cover the, uh, the damage of the horses, thanks to Mr. Hughes back there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. I do thank you kindly. And, uh, wh one more thing just before we go. I'm just going to put my skull out here and stand up. Ugh. Hughes was mentioning he does uh, some sort of evidence brigade run. He might be able to slip out a few requisitions of Winchesters or boat actions for me. With your well, approval. Unfortunately, Pawn, I can't give away weapons that a uh, that have been seized as evidence. But what what we can do is I can can give uh, possibly sell some weapon parts to you, which you can give to uh, to uh, 
to a blacksmith to uh, produce a weapon for you uh, for the army. You know what? That would work perfect. No problem, partners. And they can help you with. No, well, that's it for now. I'm looking to actually help you out a bit. I'm trying to raise a bit of a war bone chest here to get some funding together. And with that funding, I'm looking to uh, put some money back in your pockets and the doctor's pockets. Oh, we definitely need that. You were telling me you guys were struggling for the financials just as much as we were. <laughs> well, we got a lot of crooks around, but a lot of them can't pay the bills. Mm -hmm. well, I've been going town to town requesting some aid for the military. <laughs> you to right, Minty. So we can get some spare, you know, resources together. Parents are talking. I'll be sure to send some of your way as well. Uh, all the dogs. <laughs> oh, this turned out to be very productive. Not only me meeting up with the uh, the general, but yeah, getting the Mar Marshal Joe in, in contact. Excellent. Good I'm progress. Sure I'm trying to well to give you uh, in your department a list of all my enlisted boys. Yeah, that'll be great. You should send me a telegram. Let me know their names, full names, and. Uh... What I might need to do is I might need them to come bring me identification, make sure they are the right person, and I can give them some documentation. Exactly. How exciting. Well, I hope you can, uh, can at least win back uh, New Austin because it's been a long time since we patrol through there regularly. We do it very on the uh, odd occasion, but... Good to be back out there, and uh, well, means I don't need this jacket anymore. <laughs> well, some of our first patrol sets are going to be sending people down that way. We're also looking for people that have, uh, you know, no identification or documentation, and we're looking to uh, get them sorted out with their official United States documentation. It's going to be Border Patrol. Citizen. And if they do not want to or do not produce the identification we want to pass on that information to you so you can make a rest that call for the court. Oh golly. Uh, uh, cool. Quite a lot, MJ. Quite a lot. Um, I know I've been kidnapped by gangs at least two or three times. Mm-hmm. I know what I live here, that's fine by me. I saw a fellow off the boat the other day. At least day, a handful of shootouts. Russia. You know what I said to him? I said, you and United States And some citizen, investigations, yes, but he it said, is just no. a lot of patrolling. I said, get on my damn boat. And uh, responding to, like, to San and I got um, robberies, yeah. store that's robberies, right, bank robberies, drug say, dealing. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of just responding to that. Definitely a lot more accepted than last, General. <laughs> Look. They're United States citizen, that means they can fight. They can fight, that means they can protect that country. I like the way you think there, Bob. Sometimes people just need to be shouted out and motivated. Best hiding spot for a big event. Oh god, well, hey! It was a pleasure talking to you, partner. If you need hey, anything from me, just send me a telegram and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. We'll do, Marshal. You take you care of yourself, General. Take care of yourself, too. Mr. Hughes. General! <laughs> Sorry Thanks for that in, uh, introduction there, Mr. Hughes. No worries, Smiley. No, I'm very excited to see what the two 
organizations can do for each other so that we can all just work together to just keep America safe. Yeah, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be good having the the, the 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 cavalry back. Bit of a load off our plate, honestly. That's right. Yeah, I'm sure like, down the track it can be you know if they've got heavy patrols down in New Austin, then that frees up the law department to handle the east side and whatnot. Sir, what, what's what's your name in the green? What? Leo Potter. Oh, How many masters in the pit? You've got. Well, really, the only active one at the moment is what Marshal Joe here. Obviously, we're at the moment, you got some deputy marshals that pop in uh, every now and again. Hey, hug, mate. Thanks for the raid, bro. Hmm. Interesting. How are you going, Steve? Well, and you, uh, Hughes, I'm not. I'm not feeling too good after being knocked off that horse. So I I'm sorry I'm about not. that again. Oh, it happened, Bonner. I might have to ask Mr. Loris to see if there's a cure for that. No worries, mate. I'll I'll probably be going to bed within the next half an hour too. And all the things you you couldn't have just forgot, kept forget, uh, you could forget. I hope it was, I wish it was that one. I I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, well, apparently my horse doesn't want to go, so we'll stay in there. No worries, Hagan. Again, thanks for the raid, mate. You have a good sleep, man. I got the door. Have a good rest, Smiley. You take care of yourself, Mr. Hughes. I'll try. Oh, I guess Hartness is coming in. God damn yes. horse. I guess everyone's coming in. All right, you take care of yourself, boys. Yeah, don't go in there, fellas. Have a good one. Get my hair back. Oh dear, Marshall's really tired, isn't he? You feeling a bit better, Lou? No, I just got shot at. I had to uh, negotiate a bank by myself, sort of with Harkness, and then had to chase him by myself. Got my horse shot at. Oh my God! All that happened while I was talking with the general? Yeah, a lot happens. Jesus, but it's all good. It's gonna write this report on just this bank robber real quick. Oh, that is a very awkward timing. Nah, it's all right, mate. It's all good. Well, the main thing is I introduced the, the Smiley to the general, so they're gonna start uh, getting some stuff organized, and then I reminded the general that you've uh, expressed interest in the cavalry again as well. Yeah, sounds good, mate. I'll uh, chat to him when I get a chance. Very excited to see how the. Uh, how we can all come together to just really, you know, make America, you know, keep it safe. Yeah, exactly. It'd be good. It would be good. I mean, I miss going to war, but yeah, it should be good. I remember the uh, first two wars that we went to. Oh, I just seeing all those boys get mowed down on the charge into tumbleweed. Ugh. Nothing prepares you for that. No, not at all. It's uh, it's a bit rough. A bit rough. I can still smell the, the... The burnt horse. Or maybe that was the... Because I ran into the general's horse just now. But you know what yeah. I mean. What was that? So say it again. Well, so, so when I found Smiley... Mm -hmm. I went to ride him up, you know, take him up to the, the fort, and uh, I may have crashed my horse into the general's horse. Yeah, right. Can you still hear me? Yep. All right, good. Yep. So, yeah, seems I'm definitely back to normal, you know, hurting horses left, right, and center. Old horse destroyer who's back in action. Yeah. Yeah. It was an accident. I, I, I crashed into the the general's horse whilst Smiley was on the back of mine. Ah, uh, big whoops! So they they had oh, a very memorable happened. meeting. <laughs> yes, they did. Sounds like it. But Ugh. but Smiley, he uh he paid to get the general's horse looked after for me, so that was really nice of him. Uh, that's nice of him. Yeah. 
Harkness, do you remember the two other men name in the bank, the hostages? Uh, something Potter. And... Yeah, I got him. The other guys. Oh, oh Bill crap. Carson. Bill Carson and the other one. Shit. Uh, whatever, it's been as some river. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So they shot your horse gone out of town. Well, I lasso. I told him three times to stop. They yep. didn't stop. So I threw my lasso. One of them shot at me, so I shot them. I hit three of them. Yeah. I hit three of my shots, uh, and they shot my horse. Ah. Sorry, give me one sec, boys. Let me write this uh, report real quick. You're right. You know what I've just realized? Oh, what's what's that? that? I don't... I, I've, I, I don't have any handcuffs. Oh, we can get you some in the uh, cabinet behind me. Oh, phew. So I just remember I handed them in and... I hasn't, haven't needed them yet. But I, I have a feeling... I'm gonna need them soon. Okay, I can't access... Number. Oh, oh come on, Judy. On, Judy. That would help. Fuck, my brain's bad. Same thing as last time that they wanted to safe passage to their horse. Ah, no, bless you. Thanks, Mr. Jack. George. All good. And there are your handcuffs what you gave me. And... All right. Oh, hang on. Even better. Ah, yes. Uh, But it's people's favourite thing, yeah, to shoot our horses. Oh. Or shoot at us. Bastards. Yes, they are. Did you, so you didn't catch them? Nah. There's no, only two only of us. Two of us. Apparently, they had two others outside. Oh, Looked over, well. couldn't see them, and they wouldn't tell us what their signal was. What was odd. Uh, so, you do anything, we'll shoot you. Self. Told them three times two. It is, sir. Are you, Mr. Dome? Horses. Horses to stop their horses and. Horses. But they ignored it. I threw my lasso and. Oh, there's new telegrams in now. Missed. They began to shot. I hit one, they sh... Hey, here's the one downstairs. They shot my horse, and I hit two more shots. Rode off. Went to ten to the hostages. And... Went to ten to the hostages, and... They stated that they take a hostage in strawberry. That's right. Uh, asked to be hostages. I uh, guess. Well, I uh, guess. Good evening, fellas. I guess. Even. And they complied. Is that you, General? Out, it is. I was just riding out of town. I saw that there's a dead horse there, and it looked like one of the ones that was strung up here earlier. Yeah, you it's all right. That's my horse. Yeah, right. Okay. Got a bank robbery. It's fine. Oh shit, okay. I just want to make sure you weren't missing no work. Confiscated two lock picks off Leo Potter. And I believe Harkness confiscated two 
How many gold bars do you confiscate, Harkness? Oh, oh. I looked to search. I thought it was three, but didn't get them out. Some issues as usual. Oh. You, so didn't, it's you, a blacksmith. Didn't, you didn't confiscate Nine. them? Oh, no, he said it was a blacksmith, so... Yeah, probably should have taken them. Were they billions or bars? What's that? Uh, bars. Or billions. Which ones? Is it, there's a big difference in the two. Uh, it's not the ones we get from here. Oh. Or it's bars. I am not looking forward to writing reports again, but, you know, it's... Once you get in the groove... It's alright, you can whip them up real quick. I, I haven't used the new uh, report system yet, though. Oh, no, it's definitely bars. Um, since since I had my breakers used oh, from the law department... Three gold bars. Uh, so. They updated the system, so yep. I have to learn that Friday night. put this shit in evidence. I'm going to get my horse and probably take a nap. That's okay. So the older the character, the General lower the post ID. And yours about the yeah. oldest on the list. Oh! Who? Yeah, I'll mate, a, from, the, general, the marshal, from the uh, from the from the beta the, testing, the yeah, right. beta testing, I'm mate. Gonna get my horse back. Oh, gee. Oh, real quick, sorry, boys. Where are we going? Back quickly. I'm just getting my horse fixed up. And I'm probably gonna take a bit of a nap. Yeah, same. It hurts. Go, uh, Judy, Lou. Uh, I think we both got that, Mister Hughes. Hang on. Oh, yep. Uh. I just gotta take my horse to the vet real quick. It's fascinating because I've still got a, um, a Twitch VOD saved on my YouTube, my secondary YouTube, of the last. Uh, beta test like session I did as Hughes before the server went live. And it was fascinating to flick through it. Quite a few people have watched it and quite a few people comment on it asking for the, um, the Discord link and everything. Still, it's, it's fascinating. One moment. Mr. Williams. And your day gone. <laughs> Good to hear. Aren't we generally just do... Keep an eye on that man, Mr. Hughes. Patrol Mr. wherever Williams. feels right at the time. And try to spread out in groups. Oh, of course, yeah, Decker. Yeah, another OG. Garamy is the lowest. Yeah, Decker goes back to the... um. The beta testing as well. It's been raining a lot in country tonight. Oh, that killed my horse, the bastards. Oh. How'd your, how'd your meeting with the uh, general go? Oh, it was good. The, the main thing was introducing him to the marshals, too. Yeah. So they get that all rolling, and um, and then yeah, hopefully, because I told him, I made clear that you know my my responsibilities to the sheriff's department comes first, but then whenever I'm free and yeah, I got yeah. the time, I'm happy to ride with the cavalry again. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing whenever I have the time. Be exciting um, though. Yeah, I believe they have the same. The training the same time as uh, the department is training. Yeah, very awkward. Both have it on Friday night, so yeah. I want, yeah. Uh, I gotta do well, the sheriff's training. I gotta be brought up to speed on law stuff. Yeah, I'm going to uh, sheriff training as well. Bill Burns has uh, put it in like two weeks ago. Yeah. So I want to be there for it. Right, and then next cavalry one, I'll I'll go to that. Yeah, same. Um, do they have new uniforms, or we have the same one? I... Uh, I don't know yet. Yeah. That's alright, I guess. 
Where are they uh, situated still at, uh, is it four? Wallace, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd have to go, uh, chat with General sometimes, uh, sometime. He's a funny old man. He, he, oh, yeah. He's like 97 or something. Yeah, right, 97. Yeah, still kicking. He's uh, got a real great spirit in him. Apparently, he's going to offer me a uh, lieutenant position. <laughs> so I'll be lieutenant, lieutenant. Oh, my God. <laughs> Which would be great. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. Um, let me, uh, let me just go check telegrams real quick. Uh, come with me if you want. Yeah, Zarnak, the cavalry is coming back. I just met with the new general just before, and I introduced the, the law marshal to him. So it's, it's all underway. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's gonna get changed real quick. Well, I think the uh, the Mexican army is rising again, and then of course there's the rising threat of the Guama military. But I think it'll also be a lot of border patrol down in New Austin. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, I've taken up a part-time job. Oh, the, the blacksmith uh, apprentice. No, gunsmith. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I just like to keep my apron on me. Oh no, yeah, fair. Oh. Yeah. Well, I hope it's Let's fine. Be careful. It's not. It's only them. Howdy. That's right, toaster. The communist party. Howdy. Is no issue. Howdy. Howdy. That's that's all right. Let's go. I did not. Uh, this is the, um, General. Uh, howdy, oh, mate. howdy again, General! How you going? Howdy, howdy, Mr. Hughes. Mr. Lieutenant. How we doing? I'm doing well. That's good to hear. All three of us are on tours. Mm-hmm. Now we'll take that into consideration for uh, our little new rank and structure. I plan on, uh, having Mr. Lieutenant here be my new Lieutenant. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, wherever you like to put me, I'll be happy wherever. Excellent. The oh, rankings wow. may not uh, be the same as what you may be used to. You may be in different positions, you may have people you wouldn't expect to be in command. But there are some people that have shown me that they seem to have a good head on their shoulders and they can prove themselves. That's so fair. They're getting a nice rank. It's all good. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for fighting men. I'm looking for men that have brains. I know some of them are a bit unsavory sorts, but I believe in second chances. That's fair. I also told them, and I keep uh, you know, specifying two of them, the moment that they fuck up, I'm going to be caught martialed and hanged. Yeah, fair enough. Sounds fair. I see this as an opportunity to get some of these young boys that are out there being menaces to society off the streets, and there's some good old structure and discipline. Yeah, if that's that's what you think's best, then yeah, sure. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Look, sometimes trouble gonna... boys just need an opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. I need to uh, go take a nap. My uh, head is very sore. But, uh, I'll catch you guys later. No, I'll catch you later. No worries, you guys. Know. Take it easy, guys. Take a nap soon, too. Yeah, the uniform looks good, though. Thank you, kind of. But a couple complaints about the hat. People don't like the flat hat. <laughs> What's wrong with the flat hat? I don't mind it at all, but a couple of fellas are like, we get out tough shit there in the military. <laughs> Just let them know. No, exactly. it's, it's tough shit they choose to serve. That's what happens. Exactly. I look forward to seeing I am it. considering uh, allowing some of the boys, if they'd like to, fold up the bridge of their cap. I don't mind that. But yeah, that's about it. Otherwise, it's going to be the same hat. Pretty stiff shit, they don't like it. 
Fuck off, boys. Evening. Out it. Oh, good evening, to Mr. Watts. How you doing, General? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. That's good. What are you guys up to? I don't watch. I'm it's shooting the shit, waiting to speak to a gunsmith. It's fucking quiet tonight, isn't it? Holy shit. Yeah. What the fuck's with the criminals? Uh, go they're on. off the streets Naughty. now. They're in the army. Ain't I'm criminals sure. I still doing that shit. I think it's a good claim to fame to have all the criminals in the army, right? Look, these boys just need structure and discipline, and I'm giving it to them. Yeah, I can try it. Just remember this, see, to remind of it, such thing calls war crimes. What? Mm -hmm. what? The fuck's a war crime? Uh, scalping people. The military, not allowed to do. I don't think any of the boys gonna be out there scalping hey. people. Hope, oh. Hey, I'm up. I don't think that's Thanks, a man. Thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Actually, maybe the native scouts might scout. Looking might forward to some uh, U.S. cavalry reports. action. <laughs> and murdering you innocent have civilians. Natives. Yeah, I'll be around yeah. Friday night for training. No, I'll just uh, ask them if they would be able to scout out the terrain here for me. Because I'm Sounds fairly fair. new to this county and I want a detailed map. Nah, you're nice right, man. I'm going to go to bed soon as well. Do my patrols. <laughs> yeah. Rando, Luke, get back in there and make some guns. <laughs> well, Mr. Bear here going to test my skills as a found uh, fort maker, I guess. Oh. Yeah, you just made me a good, good looking camp. It looks pretty good. Maybe I'll uh, use your skills to help pretty up our fort. Had a few additions. I Fix those ladders. <laughs> I don't know well, if you're going to clear out the locals once and for all, I think it's going to be your main issue, mate. Yeah, yeah that's them true. locals, they keep trying to start a coup. Oh, Smiley as well, MJ. I think, down the other fort, I, think. I think Smiley oh, Joe's locals. background was he was a killed firing squad bounty guy. hunter assigned before him? he was a lawman. <laughs> Can't hear you, Arnold. You got a voice? Nah, no voice on my end. Oh, shit. Need to take a train, buddy. See that? Fast as lightning, as lightning as fast. I think he's going to take a train, reckon. That's fair. His voice boxes. Yep. That's oh, right, Jack Chestnut. Hello? Hello? Hello. Don't trust oh. him. Who do we not trust? I don't know. Who? I decided the military. Who Jack thought they could carry it? Chestnut. Jack, Jack Chestnut. Chestnut. He's not Never in the military. There was a Frank Chestnut, but Frank Chestnut. That's I've, right. I, I think I've already kicked him out. Oh, that's good. Oh, well, he, already broke, back. he already he already broke a rule. Oh, that was quick. How strict is it? Yep. I told him not to be on duty. I came back and looked at my ledger as minus three hundred sixty dollars. Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. Right. God damn. Who was so that? You're the, you're the general, are you? I am. That's me. Who I are believe you, I fella? sent you to get a telegram uh, about doing some bulk ammo orders for you. Oh, oh, you Mr. Devlin. Okay. That is me. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, uh, I'm looking to uh, go through and support local businesses and hoping they will, in turn, support the local military. Oh, of course. You're Valentine Gunsmith too, don't you, still? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still That's technically good. the manager, but um, probably going to just keep floating in and out to the travel travel thing. Yeah, that's fair. I know James Rax is not here anymore. Yeah, apparently, between you and me and everyone here, I guess. Apparently, he's getting the boot from that shop. Oh, I, I, I think I already fired him. Oh, did you? Yep. Oh, is that, is that, I forgot your name, sorry, but you, you're the other... Yeah, I'm the other uh, one, yeah. Yeah, that's right, sorry, I've forgotten your name. Uh, I, I, I disappeared from county for like almost like three weeks, so... Yeah, they call me yeah. Bear. Bear, right, yep. Mm. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. I'm going to try to be I'm just a local combat. businessman, mate. Don't mind me. Just a carpenter by trade. Yeah. That's Mr. Sam well. I tried to shoot him once accidentally. I don't know if that went well, well or badly for you. <laughs> yeah, it went really badly for me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it sounds I, like a wood off. I mean, I am paranoid, so I can't really blame you for not for dying. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't die. I, yeah, the, the whole story. Maybe I won't explain in front of the sheriff's department. I don't think I care, mate. Oh, not okay. a well, uh, someone else, I guess that witnessed it, went to take me out to the bush. But turns out I knew the person and I just got off. 
if that makes sense. It's lucky. Yeah, it's some sort of sexual pervert getting off in bushes. Yeah, do you want to see my bush? No, thank you. I'm real good. <laughs> I'm wearing mine on my face, mate. What do you mean? Oh, fucking hell. It's pretty bushy. Chuck Norris's dad over here. No, oh. that's, that's Harkness, mate. He survives everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's yeah. true. He's like, we call him the Tin Man for a reason. It's just fucking put middle plates in where his chest supposed to be. <laughs> you know true. why Jack Harkness is a model? Because he was a member of the U.S. Cavalry. And you join the U.S. Cavalry, you become a model, you become 10 feet tall, you eat lightning Tim, and shit thunder. Can I test that there? No, you're not shooting me. <laughs> oh, I was going to shoot the general, but all right. <laughs> yeah, that's different. That's the general. He said I'm he was part of the U.S. Son. Cavalry, so I was, he said he was immortal. So, I mean, you got to test I'm 97 years old. I ain't died yet, and I ain't never going to die. <laughs> and at least for another six months, it drops down it. I mean, once you hit 100, cool. that's pretty much the end of your life, isn't it? Like, you should be well dead by the time you had 100. No, I used to be 10 feet tall. Heck, I still am. Has gravity gotten to you? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, I if you're going to go through Mr. Devlin for some ammunition orders, that's fine. I won't, I won't step on his toes and go through them. I'm trying to... The businesses. I'm trying oh, to go through and though. reach out to every business, give everyone well, I'm just a, a businessman, mate. The, the general approached me from some, don- some donations, so I just sort of put through my hat in the ring, you know? Right, okay. I'm, I mean, I'm always happy to split it up anyway. Like, if there is something you have in mind... No, we, ain't, uh, we ain't exclusive. We want to go through to everybody, give everybody a chance to help out, give everybody a chance to, uh, you know... Oh, yeah. My, my plan was trying to, re- depending how big the order is, my plan was to try and reach out and outsource anyway. So, I mean... Like, it, you know, doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, I do yeah. work under Amanda, so if you need any bulk shit, you know, through her. Oh, yeah, cool. What sort of bullets are you after? Well, uh, Mr. Watts already helped me out with some big orders of Express and regular, but I'm still probably going to chase up some velocity, because one of my men said that he finds it very nice. I'll go back, sorry. Sorry. All right, I'll go up you too. I think being able to shoot someone quicker than they could shoot you is kind of lovely, don't you think? Yep, that's why I prefer carbine repeaters over the other, all the other repeaters. Even though they got terrible stopping power, according to everybody, they're still the best fucking repeaters in county. Yes. <laughs> Anywhere past yeah. 20 People feet, mate, there, if like, you get a headshot with a carbine repeater, that's death. Same with that little cattleman here. Cattleman killed someone dead. That's right, yeah, you got to be within like five feet though with a cattleman. Oh, we can do it from quite far away. Got some. Oh, I should bring my Mexican cattleman out. Yeah, I got a bunch of cattle? pump shotguns and stuff. Yeah. Do you mind if I pull it out to show you, Harkness? That's fair. Yeah, okay. I got a Mexican cattleman. Got right, six of these bad boys done up. Oh, very nice. Oof. That's a fine shotgun. Indeed. Six of these, and I got six carbine repeaters done up too. Oh, very nice. It all look like this. Ah, oh, very nice. Cost more than the gun's worth, but you know, it's whatever. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Is it for something? Look, I'm a bit too old to hold a two-hander anymore, but there's a little side arm here. Just make, make sure you get a double barrel or something, mate. We can show off. It better um, blow my arm off, son. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's not much left to your arm anyway, mate, so it's not not really much to lose. <laughs> you might have just you know, go flying. Too bad you don't use one of the alpha rifles, you might actually end up on your ass. <laughs> That's me using a double barrel, I end up on my ass. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Alright, gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, I got some things to take care of. But, uh, y'all have yourself a fantastic day. Oh, I didn't see who that Hughes. was. Is that Mr. Bean? Oh, no, it's Mr. Hughes, actually. Oh, my apologies. Good day. Have a good one. Just gonna check my wagon, but I'm gonna need some uh, repair kits. Now, is that in here? No, or is it in? You better be careful that I don't remember him working in Guama every week. He 
He better watch himself or those uh, memories will come flooding back. I'm holding off on that stuff because I feel it might be a bit power gamey. But it'll come back. You mentioned Bean enough around Hughes, and it'd be like, oh, no, nah, I saw you firsthand doing drug farming like four weeks in a row. <laughs> well, let's see what I can do with this now. What is this stuff in the back? Okay, it does put stuff in the back, but I can't see it. No idea. Yeah, it was like sporting things in and out of the, um... Of the back, but yeah, I can't see what they are, but so I'll just leave it as is. I haven't ridden this wagon since last year. Giddy up. Oh. Wait for this wagon to come through. They're all just gonna stay in the way. Maybe I can sneak by. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Love this wagon. It's just going through towns like Saint Denis with four horses on the front. Ooh, you want to stick to the main roads, or else you're asking for trouble. Oh god, poison fruit. Oh god. I did last year. At the end of last year, I really enjoyed. Um, cruising around in this with the rest of the law department like traveling across the country as a as a group like nice and quick really cool lots of fun it's just i don't know i don't know how different it is now but going full speed all the time the wheels kept breaking so i had to repair it all the time i don't know if wagons are still like that but that's why i'm gonna buy bunch of wagon repair kits just to have on hand just in case of emergency wheels are good now unless you jump it so you can go full speed around a lot more but that's fair if you're jumping in that the wheels were own break the old oh yeah see I was guilty of that I was just gunning it everywhere. 
So what, you can hold shift for a bit just to get the speed up. And then, like, go cinematic camera and then it won't count if you're not holding it down? Or because or you're still at that speed, it will still count? Can cruise now, should be fine. Ah, excellent. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. Well, if we saw enough suspicious activity, we'd probably write a report on it. Just so there's a record of it. You can't stable this wagon. What? Uh, oh, I think it's duped. I think it's duped. That's right, I remember how to fix this. I've learnt. I've learnt from the staff. Yeah, because I can't. Yeah, because I imagine I can't. Yeah, I can't access the safe, so this one's playing up. So I do the old... Yeah, if we see enough of suspicious activity... We'll keep a report on it on file just for future in case something happens comes from it. But if like we caught someone being a hitman, I don't know. Is that? I don't know. Like, can you have a license for that, or is that? I don't know. I'd have to see. I'd have to, I'd have to check the laws. Let me just make sure I can get this out without it being weird. If you tap, tap, use tap shift to get to top speed, then you no longer need to press it. Wings will keep the speed. Ah. Now, is this going to behave? Oh, yeah, this one's behaving now. Ah, so my old repair kits are still in it. Oh, excellent. Goody. Alright, let's get this packed away. Yeah, that, I did the same thing, Randa, because I'm like, well, the game's going to be better at steering this around more than me. Knowing my luck, I'll crash it. Doot, doot, doot. I'm really glad in my life I've never had to uh, reverse park a trailer on the back of a car or truck because I I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> it looks I don't I think I would need a lot of help doing it. I avoid reverse parallel parking as much as possible. It's just, it's just, I, it's, I just find it frustrating. Morning, sir. Wait, no, I want a bath. Like when I, when I like help my boss, like when we have to get the trailer out for stuff with, for work, like I help direct him and like, it looks easy as a bystander, but I've never actually done it myself. He's always just taken care of it. That's right, yeah, that's what I'd tell my boss. I'd be like, okay, you wanted to go left, so turn right. Because we got this big trailer thing we use for when we um, do outside broadcasts at shows. So we've got to get that in and out of the... Um, out of the back lot of the radio station. It's a full operation. All right. Well, it's been a pretty good session. You know, got some law stuff good done. Morning. You know, got some prep done for US Cavalry stuff.
<laughs> you can reach the pedals, you can drive. Alright. Oh, good stuff. 